Hello. I was here waiting patiently. I don't know if you, uh, you saw I was here. You may, you may have seen me. I didn't know if you could see me or not. Now you see me? No, you don't. Uh, yes, how are you anyway? Happy hum day. It's Wednesday evening here in the UK, which means, of course, it is time for Creative Cravings. That one show of the week where we maybe take it a little bit more back to basics. So that's what we're going to be bringing to you at 6 p.m. and also 8 p.m. We've got an hour uh, of Sandra and Santangle in the middle of the show as well. So that will be coming your way uh, in an hour time 7 p.m. in the UK 2 p.m. if you are over on the East Coast I am not alone she is back with me uh, she's looking very glamorous today I'm loving it and loving a new dress Debbie Robinson's back in the studio <laughs> good evening and welcome uh, to the bad house because <laughs> it literally felt like it today but not play your craft right for those who did see it's definitely creative maybe we should today. wish it says play your craft right on YouTube we should play a game we could do yeah we could do, because I wasn't play. here this weekend was you we could play it again. Should we play it again? I don't know. Yeah, we could play it again. What game could we play? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> right. Well, I'll tell you what we have got lined up for you. Some amazing products. Um, and, and literally, the Creative Craving Show, where we start with, it's like a little bit like a beginner's guide to. Yeah. Um, so we're going to try and keep it simplified. We've got some nice beautiful products on here but we're going to try and take you on a little bit of a crafty journey for all our new viewers for all our regulars as well because we're always offering inspiration free education and all that kind of thing here but we do have some amazing things that are on we the uh, show today we've got some uh, fabulous um beautiful and these are really clean simple stamps these you um that create really beautiful statement pieces Delightful. which i just think are lovely look at these aren't these gorgeous um and like when i say take it back to basics you absolutely can do but then of course you could go a little bit more nice. and take it a little bit more into it and i love this one because <clears> this has been stamped on some vellum uh the vellum looks absolutely beautiful colored in as well so it, it's just simply stunning and um, some of my favorites that i i feel like i've not used in absolutely ages so i'm really excited about this one are our lovely liftables now liftables are a, a, a die that cuts and stays connected to your cardstock but that have the liftable factor so on here you can see you've got those lovely lifted wings but they're stayed connected they're limited in. stock these debbie oh, are they already, already? Mm. oh well we are definitely gonna have, have to start to with this with one and johnny um, we've got some lovely timeless borders on the show today as well which again if you see they're just absolutely beautiful um some gorgeous designs and of course you can keep them as simple as you want um or i mean this is just a really simple technique to do on the edge of a card because they are from our edgeable range but they've got that lovely timeless feel to them um we've also got some amazing stamp bundles on the show as well um and a nice um die cutting bundle too uh with a beautiful die which i'm hoping to get to use because i absolutely love that die so yeah we've got loads lined up for you today tonight this afternoon hang on a minute afternoon morning oh it's We're always covering our bases. Right, it's right somewhere it'll be it'll be critic somewhere um lots of people tuning in saying hello tammy is saying hi marcella's here i can see as well kathy uh debbie saying hello everyone from new jersey as well well hello to all of you we're gonna have to gonna have to get a wiggle on and get to those liftables but before we do that i want to give you some heads up uh, on some uh, brilliant starter kits which we've got on the show for you this is a die cut a die cut starter kit for you you've got red liner tape your pokey tools your low uh, tack tape you've then got a couple of packs of centura in there and a gorgeous die as well so a really great starter kit if it's die cutting that you're looking to have a foray into we also have a stamping and coloring starter kit as well and you get a stamp your stamping platform uh, the perfect cardstock and the perfect uh, ink pad to do all of your water coloring uh, style of projects so that one's coming up 16 pounds or 24 dollars as a platinum member we've also got uh, the liftables i'm going to show you these in just more detail in a second but they are limited stock easy to see why they're limited stock they should be 59 pounds in the uk you say 42 pounds today to get them for 17 pounds they should be 83 dollars you're saving 58 dollars on those amazing amazing pricing there for you we've got a brilliant deal as well also on our timeless border die collection six elements in this one for you a fantastic edgeable concept 
which you're going to be able to use on loads of different projects, which is wonderful. Uh, we've also got the uh, outline floral stamps uh, as well. I'm going to show you a picture of those. Uh, here they are, uh, 14.97. You're getting one of them for free in this particular collection. 20.85 if you are across the pond. And we also have a tricolour marker collection with nine pens as well. Uh, and this is great, nine pens. But of course, that's going to give you. 27 markers which is amazing uh, we've got the die cut a uh, die cutting machine it's your hero tool coming up on the show it's your guillotine or your guillotine if you are across the pond 20 pounds or 27 dollars if you want to get your hands on that so loads and loads for you to shop for in the show got to tell you about these though early doors because i know they want to do a demo with them we're going to have to be quick because they are already limited stock limited stock means less than 10 percent of our starting stock is now available basically it means they're going to sell out super fast and easy to see why because the deal you've got on these is absolutely amazing you are getting four sets within this collection you're going to get the butterflies firstly which is these ones just here. Now the great thing is they're all individual dies and they all, they're not connected. So you can really play around with where you want to put these, how you want to position them, how many you want to use. You know what they give you, Debbie, as well? What's that? An opportunity to drive, <laughs> don't they? Yeah, they do. I didn't think you were going with that exactly. one then. <laughs> and dragonflies in here. Do you know that dragonflies signify new beginnings, Debbie? Yes, I do. Yeah, yes. fabulous. Uh, then we also have the hearts, the happy hearts. I'm a happy heart. Wow. And uh, you've also got your shining stars in there too. £17 or $25. That saves you £42 or $58. Wow. It saves you. You're going to save more than that. You're going to use your Club Inspire discount on the top of here. It's a really sort of handy, versatile little set to have in your stash these ones, Debbie, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. And a lot of, because we, we, what we could have done with this collection is put them onto a plate and just have them in a, a standard plate. But what we've done is we've put them into a separate piece for you so that each one offer you the liftable factor, but you can really play around with them. So you could put the dragons with the butterflies. You could put nice. the love hearts with the stars. You can have a play around interchange with them. They're all different sizes as well. So I'm going to use the butterflies because if you know me by now, you know I love butterflies with a passion um, and literally you've got all different you know different shapes different sizes uh, different patterns on them um, and then again like I said every single one and you'll notice it with the die if you just can see it starts here the outside cutting edge goes all the way around but stops in the middle and has a bit of a gap this is where the gap stays connected into the cardstock so Perfect. that's what's gave it flight and gives them wings so to speak for these but of course that's with all of the designs the same with the love arts the same with the stars that it's almost like the middle bit's missing but it's not because it's been designed that way to give you this uh, liftable factor so that's all me does now you're getting 11 pieces in that butterfly alone so you can understand just the value in itself if i was to say two of those sets i would definitely pay the price that you see on the screen for a couple of the sets but you're getting all of those die sets 15 which I just pounds think is each they should be debbie so for two pounds more you get all of them compared to one of them. It's honestly, it's fabulous. It really is. Now I'm going to start. Now I did say we were going back to the beginnings, but I'm going to do a nice little card that I love doing, which is what we call a TP card or a little wigwam card that you can do. I'm going to keep it really in simple keeping, but I wanted to have some papers to work from, so I've already literally chopped these to. And I'll just show you so you can see what I've done with them. Started with a square, and my actual square is five and a half inches by five and a half because I've got. A bigger piece that I'm going to put it onto in a second and I'll explain a little bit more in a moment but I thought I'll just show you that lovely die cut um, element to these so again I've got a few pieces of those and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a play with them and I'm gonna place my butterflies and I'm just gonna randomly pop them onto this panel card um, I might not even use all of them Joe might go a little bit wrong and get a few on there I came, <coughs> past the I came past the sign the other day for the butterfly place near you Debbie did you yeah I didn't you have time have to stop in, in unfortunately. Yeah, I was going down the I was going down the M1. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I am. M1, ah. yeah, yeah, the butterfly. So did you see it signposted? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have to go there. So I think I was on the M1 because I was going the, the, the I was going the cross country way home to Manchester from down south. Oh, from so down south. Going like past Meadow Hall. Oh way. yeah, but I, I literally live 
on the motorway, it's two junctions up. Is it? Oh, well, I should, I'll have to pop in. Well, two junctions north or two junctions south? Up, up. Oh, north. well, like that's where, where I get off then, where the Oldham turn is then on the... Well, like, uh, it was the one after that. I'm the so one, one after, after that. Yeah, that's me. Well, next that. time in, I must go within about 10 minutes of yours then when I drive that oh, way. Oh, my goodness I'll me. I'll pop round. I'll pop, pop round into for Hoyland. A yeah. Absolutely. Uh, right, so I've just randomly popped my butterflies just in a random pattern all over uh, this particular part. I will do the same for the others. In fact, while I've got it on this, well, I wonder if I can get it on. I can. Of course you can, Debbie. I can get both on there. So I'll turn this one and I'll do exactly the same. Uh, let's randomly pop these on in different various places. Let's go there. Because you've got all the all of these to choose from. There's so many of them. Um, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a bit of die cutting on both. I'll save that one for in, in a moment. But again, let's hold it down with some low tack tape. Um, I'm just going to pop that in both places, just to random, randomly hold them there. And then I'm going to pop down the plastic shim, the magnetic shim, and then the other cutting plate onto the top and run that through. So literally, and this, this, the lovely thing about these is you can actually pop them straight into the, like you've just said, about creating a little bit of an aperture, so you mm. can perhaps have some pictures or something behind there and have the, behind the butterfly wings or the love hearts. Sort of slip it all the way out. Yeah, absolutely. To, yeah. So, but the lovely thing is you can pop this onto any cardstock, any paper. Um, this is my background paper that I'm putting it onto for the main feature of my card. Um, but honestly, it's they're just, uh, it's the price. I can't get on the price. For, if you're in the Platinum or brand new to Crafters TV today, for £13.60 get into It's amazing, all. isn't it? It's cr absolutely... Oh, I'm not going to say it again, but it's a stonking deal because it really is. Another, it's another of Debbie amazing. Stonkers, this one. Uh, it really is. A, it's a Debbie stonking deal. We've got another. Oh, that doesn't sound right, does it? I'll stop there, right there. It's a fabulous deal, it Joe. Is. It's a fabulous deal. It truly, truly is. Whenever I go over that way in the car, Debbie, I always think of you because it says, Welcome to Barnsley, twinned with Schwabisch Gmund. Schwabisch Gmund, sort of told you. It's always a bit that makes me think of you. Absolutely. <laughs> Schwabisch Gmund, I love saying that. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, can you see how that lovely, delicate uh, butterfly wing has been cut, but it stayed connected into that cardstock? So it gives this lovely, liftable factor. Um, and then, literally, again, I'm going to just pop this up, both sides. But I am going to, I'm going to highlight them. Of course, you could be die cutting into a different coloured cardstock and then sticking them over the top um, to give them a little bit more uh, texture, height, mm. maybe more wings as well. Um, but I'm going to just literally take these and I'm going to get a bit of scrap paper just for a second, Joel. Let me grab a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to pop that underneath there and I'm going to bring one of my ink pads in. Now I've used crushed velvet on the outside of my paper. I've used crushed velvet to distress it and that's exactly what I'm going to do with this. There we go. So literally just touch up the edges of the wings. And it, like I said, it just gives it a little lift. Yeah, really lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Lots of people still tuning in saying hi. Uh, Clarice says, look at Joe waiting patiently. I think that was the start of the show there, Debbie. Oh. Um, <laughs> Suzanne says hi, Joe, Debbie, and all the social crew from beautiful Michigan. It's 84 degrees here today. Uh, wow. G Judy's loving your outfit, Debbie. Thank you very much, Judy. Uh, Christine saying hi. Sam McDonald says good evening uh, from a sunny Darlington. Managed yes, have a nap it's been, it has uh, been warm, hasn't it? It has. Having a nap, I uh, managed to have a nap before the show started. Lying in bed, I've just had my gallbladder removed yesterday. Oh, well, she has, yes. Get well been soon, Sam. Sam. Yes, get well soon, Sam. Mm. Hope you're back on the men real soon. Um, but do you know what that means for Sam? She can watch Crafters TV. To her heart's content. Absolutely. I mean, she does anyway, God love her. Um, yeah. she's, she's a local lass to us. Um, but yeah, fabulous. I hope I hope the operation went well. I hope you're okay as well. Speedy recovery. Right, Katie Green says, that is a very pretty pokey tool. I want one. My pokey tool? Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I had it custom made, my pokey tool, um, from um, a lovely lady that I used to, uh, that I used to work, work with down at Create and Craft and her partner, um, made them me do you still have your pen Joe, that i uh, got you yes i've still got it you i need to replace the um the i yep. need to replace the pen bit in the middle yeah I, I uh 
I saw it yesterday. It's on the it's on my shelf of trinkets at home, and I thought Aww. I must go and get the middle for that just the other day. So I, will. I must find my pen because I had a pen made of the same, um, and I can't find the pen anywhere. I think some. I'm not going to lie. I think I think someone tea leaved it. I think well, that's when not I've, very nice. Uh, yeah, isn't it? I think yeah because I've not I've, and I've looked apps. I've turned the house upside down, and uh, I just can't find it. Just can't find it, but I had a matching poker tool, a um, pen, and I had something else made as well. Oh, a little picker. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, what's it called? A what? A picker. Um, picker. Thread a picker. Thread a picker. Um, do you know when it's got like a little fork? Like, <laughs> do, you know you want to, do you know when you want to pick your stitches? Oh, a stitch ripper, yes, a seam ripper. Thank you, yeah, I had one of them made as well. Oh. Did you wonder where I was going with that? Yeah, and the, the hand signals weren't doing us any favours. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't remember the name of it, Joe. I apologise. Oh, uh, now, right. look at those two pieces. Looks lovely. And again, you can see how it's cut out on the back and, and how it's stayed connected in as well. But this is when you can really give it some extra lift. So I've got my two pieces ready. I have actually, um, on mine that I did at home, I've just added some gems into the centre of them. So I've popped a few little gems. I don't know if you can see those gems, just to, again, I'm just creating a little bit more texture. So I've got myself three panels ready. And then for my style of my TP card, I've cut myself three panels that measure six by six. And what I've just done is, I'll bring in my scoreboard, once you've cut it down, oh actually, do you know what I could have done? Shown you the hero tool. Huh? Yes, the hero tool. I mean, it really is an hero tool, it can is I a just hero. tell you. Why do people rave about this one, Debbie? Oh, it's the quality of the cut. So, can you hear this? And this has got no paper in it whatsoever but it's not just a guillotine so for me this part of it because as you can see for, for again brand new viewers it is a guillotine with a proper blade and i say a proper blade it's a from a Le leanne sourced it from a blade company that's the way i'm going with this one um this i've got the right one onto the small one thank you i just check in uh but yeah you've got inches measurements on the um top part of it and then you've got the centimeters just a little bit higher now i work in inches so i always work from the top however you can work from the bottom end and you literally just use it because you've got centimeters there ah. and then the inches so depending on which metric you work with you can simply pop your cardstock in and measure that up now i did want six inches i will just tell you because this is not just any ordinary guillotine because i'm waving around my little po po pokey tool that's not a pokey tool uh, waving around my little score tool um literally it is a workable scoreboard so it's it's not just a guillotine and there's there's other guillotines that are on the market that are you know maybe a similar design maybe a grid with the inches and the centimeters but this has got a workable scoreboard integrated into that guillotine it's amazing isn't so it? it really really is and measurement wise you're going up to six and a quarter um, and you'll get your card stock in if i remember rightly because debbie can never remember this end give me give me a second is it ten it's about it's about a nine about nine inches i'm gonna say uh, but literally all you're gonna do is pop your card stock in now because it is an integrated scoreboard you just have to remember this little top tip that we give you because it's got a scoreboard groove or grid or track whatever you want to call it for your scoring tool that sits at the top of your uh, guillotine you take it out and um, just remember when you're lining this up that if you are lining it up to the measurement that it goes up to the grid line not over the grid line if you go over the grid line it's, it's a little bit bigger than six so always remember pop it up to that first grid line and then literally hold that down make sure you your cardstock is flush to the top right to the very top hold your finger guard down and then just snip and that way you get that perfect cut and you can hear that that beautiful cut a little top tip that i give to people just to remember is don't force your don't force your handle away you've got a lovely soft and i say soft i mean a comfortable grip it's 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 kinder to your hands when you're holding on to it so it's got a really nice grip on there but a lot of people i know misuse their um and not for any fault just just a misuse of it because mm. they pull away the nature is to pull yeah, away when they're chipping you down to... you need the connection of the blade to the blade so you bring this in to yourself so you just right. 
force not you're not forcing it i don't want you to force it but you know what i mean when i'm just be mindful that you're not pushing it away exactly that's perfect joe thank you and then like i said you've got your scoreboard into there so i know that's six by six but on this occasion i want to pop a, a score line down my, th my three pieces and i want to go halfway so i'm going to line it up on the four inch grid and then you take your score tool and you simply take the track down so it goes into that track and i'll do that a couple of times again i know i'd already got one in but it's just to show you how easy it is to do and then you can fold that into itself and then You've got Fabulous. the perfect six by six with a perfect score line in there because of the fact, and that is why I always call this, an, again, another one of our Aero tools in our range, uh, a great price on the screen. You simply click your little piece into there and it's good to go. It's nice and travel, I call it a travel size guillotine, one that you'd slip into your craft bag quite easily um, and carry it around with you. It's very lightweight, compact, but it gives you a precise cut each and every single time, which is why I won't live without mine. Tonight I've got the small one. There is a larger option. You can go over to the uh, website and have a look at the larger option, uh, which has an ex extendable leg, it does. arm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but again, it's just a fantastic, if you want to try our guillotine, tonight may be that opportunity mm. to try it because I've used guillotines in the past that some have been clunky to use, big, heavy, mm. um, don't always give me the correct No, and we don't want, often so. discount our core tools. So to get 20% yeah. off that as part of a Hero Tool is brilliant. You've only got 24 hours to get hold of it, though, with the Hero Tool. So you want it to be uh, quick. Don't dilly or dally. Right, so I'm going to just now, because I've done it on all three of my pieces, but on this bottom piece, uh, because this is going to be my central, and I'm going to call it a central leg, is what I'm going to call it. Um, but to do that, You're I've calling actually... calling it what, sorry? A central leg. Part okay. of my TP, yeah, but the best way I can describe it. Um, because your three pieces, when you're making a TP card, um, you need to, and if I just show you visually, you can, that is how you would create it. So that's my centerpiece, which is on the diagonal, so it's on that diamond shape. Uh, but I've already put myself a couple of little uh, butterflies and cut those out uh, ready. Again, you've got that liftable die. You can play around with them, um, cut into cardstock, not just patterned paper. But I'm just going to turn that over for a second because what I want to concentrate on now is popping this together. So like I said, that's on the uh, diamond point. And then when you're popping your TP card together, you're simply just, so you've got your same folds in the same place, but you're just turning it to the square, but the point goes to the point on the inside like so. So it creates this, again, pretty much like a diamond triangular shape and that's how you create a TP card so I'm just going to use a bit of glue Let's pop um, that lots of people still chatting away Mary Pat says good morning Michelle says good evening um, I use the dabbers and seam ripper too very pretty so far uh, Samantha Cheney saying hi she says good afternoon lovely people good vibes I think there's an emoji and then Grace is like peak people good vibes that's meant to be an emoji why does it say that i don't think whatsapp has the good vibes emoji but obviously facebook does so there <laughs> you are very confusing cheryl saying hi from a very rainy alaska um uh, suzanne says uh sorry behind can you repeat where about to place the paper the beginning of the groove the middle or the end side up to the groove isn't it up to the groove i'll, I'll show you again as we go on in the show i'll show you again uh, but it's it's just up to if i just let this set i'm just gonna let this dry for a second and then i'll i'll bring in a piece of cardstock again just to show you let me just turn that over i'm conscious that we've um we're getting very limited low stock on the liftables so i'm just going to try and just pop this down so I can put the rest of my card together. Make sure that's all nice and folded in on itself. Yep, that's fine. So I'm going to let that dry for a second. I'll yep. just bring a bit of cardstock in just for a second. Um, and Suzanne I'm going to... Suzanne was asking this. I know, it's fine because it, it's well worth knowing so that you get the correct use out of it. Please excuse the scrapper card that I'm using. But again, just to show you, lift up your arm. If your arm wobbles, it won't do to start with, but over time, it might need tightening up. Please don't think that you have to throw it away. There's a little tightening bolt there at the end. You Perfect. won't need to do that straight away, believe you me. And it's got little legs on there as well. I've lost two of mine the rubber little ones that hold it to stop it from sliding everywhere. So it's got a good grip, a good suction grip as well when you pop it down. But lift that up, your arm, pop your cardstock in. We'll go for, we'll go for a five by five. So if I just take it now, if you're using it and look, remembering that this is a scoreboard in, integrated into there, don't go over the edge, go up to that first grid. So you can almost see your track line. 
if I bring that back out, you've got your track line free. So again, just to that very edge. And you have the precise down. line of the measurement at the top as well, don't you? So I, I often just look to that, Debbie. Do you, is that what you yeah, do? Yeah, I often just look at the, you know, the line along the top. I know some yeah. everyone does it differently, don't they? Absolutely. Uh, and then again, you can t keep it into place because whilever it's in place, you've got that perfect uh, five by five square. We'll go in at two and a half. So that's the grid for two and a half. Take it, run it down to the grid. Always with any scoring, gentle, um, gentle fibre breakage is what you're wanting. Fibres of the cardstock. Fold that in half. Give that a little burnish. And you've got your piece... Nice little name place there, but again, Delightful. really perfect, really easy to do, uh, and a very good guillotine. Let me just tell you, this is a corker of a guillotine. It really, really is. Like I said, Leanne sourced blades from a manufacturer from a blade company, um, so it's absolutely super. I mean, we talk about it being an Euro tool. It so is. None of us would be about our guillotine. So that's that's what we're here for. That's how it works. Yeah. You wanted to ask. That's perfect. Any other um, questions? For that reason. Any other questions? Get them in. Craft yeah. TV on Facebook. Craft Absolutely. Craft on YouTube. Now I think I'm going to change. Let's have a little look because I realised afterwards I want to put my pieces there. We'll, we'll go a different way because I've got my little legs. I don't want to cover my butterflies up. So I'm going to pop this onto the background, but I don't want those um, to be stuck down. So when I'm putting right. my glue on, I'm just going to take care not to go over my butterflies. I will use my wet glue though. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of wet glue go around the outside like so on all of them and then just stick my first panel on like so now the cards the, like i said the card was six by six the paper was uh, five and three quarter by five and three quarter which is why i've got the perfect uh, frame around there as well but i just want to make sure that those little wings aren't stuck down because this is a liftable die set and again absolutely beautiful are we still all right for stock johnny or is it nearly yeah we're all right yeah, yeah, just, yeah about 95 percent gone now so if it's in your basket you need to check it out absolutely uh, no, I'm not surprised. I'm not going to lie. I'm not surprised. Through it quickly. Well, you say £42 or $58. So, you know, it's a hefty, hefty saving. Um, I don't recall seeing these at a lower price than this. So, no. very, very good deal. It's almost like we've got a cartload price on tonight. Mm. On tonight's Creative Crave. Just maybe this first time you've uh, tuned in and it's the first time, you know, you've, you've had a look at what we do here at Crafters Companion. Um, these were... And they were, when we launched them, that price that you see scrubbed out at the top of the screen. Mm, I can um, remember how popular they were as well. When we exactly, them. yeah. Because, again, you've got a bit of creativity um, with these. You, you get creative with them because... Um, you can place them wherever you want onto your card. You can create whatever design you want. We've had some gorgeous, uh, well, we do have some gorgeous design team members, but we have some gorgeous makes from the gorgeous design team. As well, we're going to be that one. Um, the last one I'm going to pop on there is, and if I just get this the right way around there, because uh, yeah, I remember doing it. <coughs> do you know what? That'll be fine. Butterflies going any way, shape or form. It'll oh, be fine. they are omnidirectional. They are, yeah, absolutely. I've realised when I pop this on that I've got it going in the uh, other direction, but you get the gist. And I'm just going to pop that piece onto there. Now, the one I haven't cut into, I am going to put down because I, I, like, I like a nice, neat finish. Uh, so I'm going to pop my last squared, uh, square, triangle hmm. down, pop that on. And then once that's dry, I'm just going to make sure I've got that right. There we go. That then folds in on itself, like so. So it creates this lovely TP shape. It's a really, really pretty design. It's very it easy to achieve. It reminds me of a Star Trek logo. Yeah. <laughs> I what just, it it's one of my favourites. We all have favourites. We all have ones that we like to revisit. We all like to try new folds. I'm always trying new folds, um, cubes and things like that, because I, I just, I love um, things that offer you something different. But I didn't want to go too way out. Uh, with it being a creative show, I don't want to scare anybody off, but I've just talked you through how to make, you know, something as quite quite striking but as simple as this. Um, lastly, I'm trying to find my um, hook and loop. Where have you gone, you little devil? I think it's Is it got, in the bin. Do you know what? I think it's got wings and flown again. Mm. I'll find my. Oh, it's here. Silly me. We do sell hook and loops um, on our website. We do. Um, we can't use the... Uh, 
It's not I Velcro, always, is it? It's like Velcro, but it's, it's not it's Velcro. It's not Velcro. It's not, it's not Velcro, no. but it's like Velcro. Yeah. But Velcro's a brand, so we can't say that. I um, always call it hook and eye, which hook, is not what it is. That's on your bra, eye. isn't it? It's a what? That's what's on your bra, isn't it? Hook and eye. Hook and eye, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's an hook and loop. Wait a minute. What is no, this? No, you this called is... it hook and loop. I just said I always call it hook and eye. I don't do you know, know why. I actually thought it, do you know, for one second, I actually thought the same thing. <sighs> right. This is going to come in on itself. Hook and that is hook and loop, isn't it? It's hook and loop, yeah. yeah. Thank you. But I always think it's called hook and eye. No, and that, you've got me thinking of a. Uh, no. A, yeah, right. One's, okay. on you, one's a dot that goes one's on dot, the end, one's a... on your bra. <laughs> Not my bra, obviously. <laughs> Right, I've popped it into this corner and I'm just going to then take it into this corner here and pop that in. I just got slightly distracted then, just for a second. Um, I saw I saw a familiar face. Um, I've Mr. not seen him with his glasses on before. Yeah, he wears his glasses. He's like me. Ah, yeah, I didn't know. I just saw Mr Mosby and I'm thinking, what's Mr Mosby doing in here? Got really excited then. Now, so literally, what he's doing is wondering. He's got his legs out as well, Debbie. So you want to, he's got his you know, out. He's got his legs out, so I you want to be careful. I can't see because I've got a great, I've got a great big um, thing in front of me. Um, screen. Right. I can't see. Uh, I'll get him to come round and give you a flash. He's <laughs> <laughs> going here past he is. again. Hi. Ben, she, Debbie can't Hi, see. Mr. Mr. She's missed your legs because she. <laughs> She can't see Hello. her legs because the screen's in the way. Can you give her a... She, she, Tell me, guys, he's looking all <laughs> summery. All <laughs> summery. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely to see you, even if it was fleetingly. Bye. 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 <laughs> we'll get a BAFTA for this. <laughs> oh, dear. Now then, you can see how it's all put together. Did you see, did you get a, did you get a flash of his legs? I did get a yeah, flash of his legs, yeah. Go, yeah, they were short, 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 no, <laughs> behave yourself, <laughs> behave yourself, producer Johnny. Um, and I've just got myself a little sentiment. Do you know what we launched earlier? Wouldn't they work lovely in here? They would look beautiful on here. What, so it would? The, the things that we launched earlier, the All About oh, You. Oh, yes, the yeah, yeah, Say It With Style, style All About You. Yeah. Um, I didn't use one of those. I used one that I got in my crafty stash, but I was thinking now afterwards, why didn't I use one of those in my demo? Uh, but look... This is honestly, this, I, I, I genuinely mean this. These styles of cards are very easy to create. Um, the dies themselves are just absolutely fabulous. I really love these dies. They've always been one of my firm favourites. Fa firm favourites because of that liftable factor but stay connected to the card stock. I absolutely adore them. And by the way that you're going tonight Great at the deal, limited aren't they? stock... Is it what does yeah. Ben say? It's green on the screen. Stock is lean? No, that's the other soon. one. It uh, soon won't be seen. Absolutely. They will <laughs> be gone. Do not miss out on them. Uh, they will go. And I doubt we'll get these back either. So once they are gone, they are gone. So uh, you've got your uh, liftables, which are these ones just here. No, they're all liftables, Joe. You've got your butterflies. You've also got the dragonflies, your happy hearts, and shining stars as well. Uh, £13.60 or $20 as a platinum member. They should be £15 each. I know. Or what $21 each so amazing amazing value for money do not miss out on those ones uh, in the US it is called hook and eye apparently according to Eleanor so what's the other one called then uh, this card will be cute with a flameless candle under it says uh, Shannon uh, Sandra says, I like that, Debbie. Purple and butterflies. What's not to like? Absolutely. Um, right, we're going to move on. We're going to have a little look at some of the starter kits that we've got. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Someone's been buffing this camera, I think. <laughs> oh, this is like a slip and slide on here. Uh, right, let me share this with you then. So it's a starter, a die cut starter collection. So you've got to get this die included, which is your. Chasing dragonflies. Did you know that dragonflies signify new beginnings, Debbie? Uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that one there is this. So you can either cut it into your card or you can cut it out as a topper, like use it as a banner or a border, which is awesome. Uh, then what you've got is a couple of sheets of cards. So let's get you started. So you're going to get the, uh, I think that's the cherry, isn't it? Cherry, yes. Cherry, yep. Yeah. And you're going to get the cherry and you get the snow white. Uh, you've then got your low tack tape, uh, your pokey tools, can never have too many pokey tools, let's face it, and your red liner tape as well. What a brilliant selection of goodies. And do we also have the mini on the show as well? 
We do, don't we? So if you knew someone that was into getting into, you know, trying to get into crafting, wanted to get them into die cutting, imagine sending them that alongside the mini, or even treating yourself to that alongside the mini. What a brilliant selection of tools that is. Now, we've got a stamping and colouring starter kit as well. This is designed for water colouring, this one in particular. So your uh, aqua blend pencils, your aqua markers, your tricolour aquas, which we've also got on the show this evening as well. So in here, you are going to get your watercolour cardstock. So you'll get 15 sheets of that. You're gonna get a fabulous stamp. Who doesn't love cake uh, that you can stamp out? It's called Oh So Sweet. You're gonna get the stamping platform and you get the finesse waterproof ink pad in the pebble, which is a really good colour uh, for this kind of colouring project. You get all of that uh, for £20 or $30. That's £16 or $24 as a Platinum member. Charlotte says Ben loves so, work so much he can't keep away. Obviously not. Um, I don't, did we find out why he was here, Johnny? Oh, no, yeah, we don't know. It's all mysterious. Uh, uh, Miriam says that is gorgeous, Debbie. Shannon says, I've got no work done on my birthday cards today. Uh, did you say you're stealing something, Debbie? I did not say that. Oh, Charlotte said he was stealing <laughs> something. <laughs> I, said oh, he's no, I said he'd forgotten something. Oh. Uh, he just popped into his Wi-Fi, apparently. Uh, Kim says, uh, Warp Steve's just fell through my checkout. I deserved it after the day I've had. You do. Treat yourself. Uh, uh, Eleanor Murphy says, his card is so pretty and can be adapted to any age and age occasion right we are going to move on let's have a little look at these uh, the outline floral dies which are these ones here now these are dies did i call these outline floral stamps uh, <laughs> these are really lovely they're quite modern design some of these as well so you've got the divine rose this one here is a radiant ranunculus then you've got your delicate blossom and you've got your pru Proud poppies, that's what it says. That is my handwriting on the back of there that I can't read. <laughs> if you were one of these, which one would you be, Debbie? Would you be Me? a proud poppy, a delicate blossom, a radiant ranunculus, or a divine rose? A divine rose. I think sure. I'd, I mean, be a, I'd be a delicate you, why blossom. Why did you ask that? A divine rose, of course. Yeah, would be. I'd be a delicate blossom. Uh, I think Charlotte would be a proud poppy. That would mean Johnny would be a, ra a radiant ranunculus. I think so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> buying three, getting one free here, which is brilliant. Fourteen ninety-seven or twenty eighty-five. We're going to have a little play with these, I believe, Debbie. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, just getting, me, I'm just getting my cards stuck because I also thought. Did I hear that the tricolours were on the show? The tricolour you know, are on the I, show. I just saw. I spotted them in my corner of my eye, and I'm thinking I'm having them because I'm going to. I'm going to show you um, again l some really easy techniques. Just need to find myself though. My little. Oh, I've got my things down here. I'll be fine. You get um, nine of them, Debbie. So 27 markers in total because oh. you've got three colours in each pen for 20 under 20 pounds uh under 30 dollars which is honestly amazing. it's a fight it, it really is absolutely Brilliant a deal. fabulous price i'm just making sure i've got my water brushes though ready to um have a play with them uh but i'm gonna i'm gonna use the proud poppies i love these i think they're gorgeous in fact can i just show you a few more samples before we start into it just so you can get to see i mean even the renun ren ren wait a minute ranunculus yeah thank you um i just think they're just really fabulous um stamps that you can get so creative with um this one i absolutely adore i just think you know stamps are stamps you can do all sorts of things with stamp onto vellum onto acetate um literally anything play with colors use your use your um, alcohol markers this one that our lovely um and i think this is uh, Lisa, one of our design team members. Um, she That's has, lovely, isn't it's it? It's just beautiful. It's just so simple and elegant. Um, and I just absolutely adore them. So again, lots of mediums that you can play with. They're called the Outline, outline Florals, but I think they're their simple, clean, classic mm. feel to them. Um, and I mean, every, everybody that I know loves a flower and a floral, whether it be a dye, whether it be a stamp, but these really are classy. And I think for anybody starting out into the world of stamping, these are a perfect stamp to get started with. And then coloured in mediums, you couldn't ask for anything easier and more forgiving than a water-based pen, Absolutely. which is what our tri-colour um, are. Not to be confused with tri-blends or tri-blend brush pens, this is a tri-colour aqua. And it's like an aqua marker, in, well it is, it's an aqua marker in three different colours that have been 
formulated by Leanne and the team to create some really nice um, tech, well, nice things that you can do with them. Uh, so with that said, stop rambling, Debbie, get stamping. Um, what we've done with these as well is we've, we've not put it into like a block one. It means that you can get creative with them. So each one of these are all individual poppies. Then you've got the leaves and then we've got some sentiments on there as well so we've got on the poppies we've got you are in my thoughts and just to say if you're going for that whole bundle which i mean i'm looking at price again amazing aren't they again. honestly shut is it shut the front door you see shut the front shut the front door shut the front door shut the front door yeah shut the front door and run up the garden path and everything else oh my days that's an amazing price for a set of simple classic shut stamping. the front door and the back door Debbie. and the back door yes. yeah twiddle the blinds the fire up the what smoke you machine yeah. put on I'll your heels i've remembered you said you've naked shut the front door run up the street Run the road naked. People. Yeah, absolutely. It's, oh no, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal deal. It really, truly is. So let's get stamping. And I'm just going to stamp a couple of random... Well, I'm going to do my poppies first. We'll, we'll do those first. Um, and I'm just going to randomly just pop those down. Of course, in fact, I'll tell you what, while we've got them, let's get our um, leafage. Foliage. Thank you. Um, onto the stamping platform as well. Now, we do have a, another option of a stamping platform in that bundle, the stamp bundle deal, the one to get you started if you want, including one of the ink pads. I'm using my black one, but there is, did you say it was Pebble, the one that comes? Is it Pebble, Joe, the one that comes? Pebble, yep, that's yep, what's going to be included. Because this is a water-based product, this is the perfect and the right correct ink pad to use with any water-based medium Amazing. like our sparkle pens like our tricolor aquas so that's the one you need to use straightforward waterproof dye non-smear with watercolor little paintbrush up front you can never go wrong four colors to choose from if you've gone for that stamping bundle um you will how you will get the pebble in there but there is rustic brown um flagstone rustic brown pebble and noir black um, so i'm just going to ink those up I'm going to use my stamping platform because I've had my um, other stamping platform that we've had on for the show earlier. I'm going to stick with this one. But again, I'm just going to take that down and stamp the image. Make sure I've got that all covered around. Perfect. Yeah. So literally now I'm going to take my... Well, I'll take that off there for a second. Must remember I've got my stamps on that platform. Um, and I'm going to show you how these work. Now, like I said, they've been formulated to be colours that complement each other. And we've got, like I said, three colours in each one pen. So it's not colours from the same family, but it's colours that have been formulated it's to work It's good to know together. that they're not going to muddy, isn't it? Which is, I think, what people yeah, probably it, get fed exactly. up with when they walk and, so, and there's lots of colours in there as well. So, you, I mean, how many colours is that, Joe? Nine pens, three colours. 27. 27. That, an amazing... Um, to get started with got a lovely brush nib on this as well um, which are just fabulous and again when you want to use just get yourself either a little pot of water which i've forgotten <laughs> or a brush we do we do actually have these on the website these are all from our spectrum noir um, they're in a pack of three where you get different Perfect. brushes and you fill them up with water and then you can use it as a brush which is going to work perfectly with this one. Uh, you could also, if you wanted, we have what we call clear overlay sparkle pens. Um, and again, they will be ready available on. I use, use this for all sorts of things, but also for perfect for drawing out the colour when you want to use it. It's like a little bit of a water brush. Um, however, Joe, do you have any water over there at all? Water, yeah. Could I borrow a little bit of water? Have you got a water? cup? Uh, I haven't got a cup, no. Where's your, have you got your sippy cup? Um, Where's your non-spill cup? It's there, look. It's got water in it as well. Oh, is it? Oh, perfect. Oh, there you go. Oh, I do apologise, George. Grabbed your... Now, one thing I will say... It's naughty, a long way over there, don't Naughty, me? naughty, whoever's done this has left the brush in there. Oh, no. Don't, li don't leave your brushes in water. Don't leave it in the water. No, 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 no. Because what you can end up doing is rusting the um, end. We don't want to do that. So, whoever that was... I was oh, probably, really? uh, I don't know, who should we blame? Who can we blame? Craig again? I mean, he hasn't had any for oh ages. Oh my God, love him. He's getting blamed for everything today. Mm. I'm not blaming Craig. Um, right, water brush. I love this. <laughs> I feel like I'm back at school with this pot. Um, I'm going to get my brush. Now, actually, <clears throat> I'm telling people often I've got a really dirty brush. Let's uh, get a clean brush out of my bag. There we go. Uh, I'll, I'll use a nice big it brush. It can do what to the end of the brush? Do you say whisk it? Rust it. 
Rust it. Rust oh, it, yeah. okay. Yeah, you don't want to leave your brushes in water. Sandra no, will tell you something. You don't brush. leave your brushes in water. You take them out, dab them off, clean them down, done. Um, don't leave them in water overnight for a long period of time at all. No, uh, right, so, Sandra's not impressed. <laughs> going back to this. Um, now, there's two ways that you can do this. You can go direct onto paper or onto your glass mat. I'm going to go with the paper version, but I am going to have... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, you, brush, your hole's not big enough. Don't worry, you can take the lid off. I'm going to have to take the lid off. Just pray and hope I don't do it, I don't do it Michelle. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to... Do you have... remember that? If you don't know what we're on about, by the way, Michelle did a sort of uh, a craft along. It was mostly watercolouring. She got an hour and 40 minutes in. She was literally about to finish. She knocked the water over, went all over the project, and she went, oh, no, don't worry, it's fine. I'll be able to salvage it. And we saw, as she picked it up and the water poured off, her project ran off the page as well. <laughs> It was so funny. In fact, um, <laughs> we've got some fails coming up soon, haven't we? They've been Have we? Some, some videos. They, uh, we might be able to show you those. Uh, oh, I'm dying to see them. The fails one has been has been. Uh, well, Debbie Fisher's. Um, Debbie Wax seal. Well, if, if, if Debbie Fisher's seals in there, Michelle's Wax, Watergate not, will be in there as well. Debbie's I'm not sure. actual seals, I should clarify. Wax no, 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 seal. Wax seal. Yeah. Debbie seals. Seal. Can you imagine? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, a little snort for you there. <laughs> you are a little devil sometimes, you <laughs> Right, water brush, dab in, dab off. Is that the right way to say it? Dab in, dab, yeah, dab your, dab, put it into your water, bit of tissue at the side of you, dab the excess off, you don't want it to be absolutely teeming with water. Don't want it sopping. No, no. Pop a bit down onto your, and I'm going to use it on the, on the um, part there just to show you. Simply start to move your ink around. Now, when you do it like this, and again, it will come down, so you can literally take it down into there, but you can use, like I said, if I just pop a little bit, let me get my, uh, I don't know if I've got much left in here, actually. Let me just put a little bit onto, there we go. Just pop a little bit down onto there. And again, using your medium, you can then start to pull and drag out your uh, colour and carry it on. And, and again, it just makes it makes it's just such a lovely technique to do. And again, the clear overlay gives you an added bit of a little sparkle as well. Almost like changes the red in there from adding that little bit into there. But what I'm going to do is I am going to colour in. Uh, and again, this is another little thing. Actually, while we're here and while we're showing you, it is, um, it is creative cravings. But you can use your water brush and just pop um, over your image. And then you can have a little bit just onto here, onto your glass mat. And then you can pick it up and just drop some in and let it move. Oh. So, you know, there's lots of ways that you can do it from going on directly, using your clear overlay, popping a little bit of water into there and then letting the water. So it's literally just like dropping your ink. What I wouldn't say is drop this into there no. because I've already put water in and you'll end up um, with a bit of a soggy end and we don't want that. We want to preserve that brush nib. So don't do that. Just pop it onto the mat and then just dab that in. And when you want to add any more, you can go and add a little bit more, pick it up and then you can start to add little shading into there as well. So again, very, very forgiving is watercolour uh, products, which is what this is. Um, you can also mix your colour palettes as well, which again, so easy to do um, in terms of popping a couple of colours down on um, onto your mat. And I'll probably do that in a second since I'm... Because um, I have got a finished sample of me oh, poppy yeah. one. But again, because I can see... I can. She's in limbering up again. <laughs> she is doing a pre-show yoga again. Absolutely. Um, um, I didn't realise poppies come in multiple colours as well, Debbie. Until yes, I know, ago. yeah. Yeah, you can get them in oh, all sorts of Oh, not long the colours. poppies will be out again, Debbie. I mean, it'll soon be Chris Strictly starts, uh, it starts, Strictly starts yeah. next They're month. They're already it'll training, aren't they? Yeah. I, I mean, how many weeks? When it gets to my daughter's birthday, which is on the 19th of September, I think it's like something is like... Is it that weekend it's 14 starts? weeks to the... Ba, ba, to, to ba, 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 ba. Yeah. I'm very excited, Debbie, again. I, I love Strictly, I'm not going to lie. I mean, obviously, for obvious reasons, last year we should try and go. More. We should try. They're having full audiences this year, Debbie. Are they really? And, and they're going back to Blackpool, Debbie. We should try and get tickets <gasps> to Blackpool. Can you imagine? Two of our favourite things. Oh, I love Blackpool. Oh, my days. I bet that's already booked out, you know. I bet it's already booked out. What's that, Charlotte, saying? What, what's our Charlotte saying? Sorry, J uh, Charlotte thinks, what are you saying, here. Charlotte? 
So they're having a show live from Buckingham Palace. Really? Um, no, but I thought it was going back to Blackpool again. Yeah, it's definitely going back to Blackpool. Wow. Maybe one week it'll be at Buckingham Palace. Do you reckon the Queen will Buckingham get up and do a turn? Palace? Why would they have Strictly at Buckingham Palace? I reckon she'd... What do you think she'd do, the Queen, Debbie? What was that? What do you think her dance would be a choice? A rumba. choice. The Queen, a rumba. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I reckon so. Those hips. Um, I reckon she'd be do. I reckon it'd be a Charleston she'd do. You think? Oh, is it the American fo Foxtrot? American Foxtrot. Is oh, it the I'm Foxtrot? Sure. What was the one that our lovely Sarah did and, oh, my God, made me cry? The, the, the regular Foxtrot. No, is the American one they call it, do they? An oh, Argentinian tango? Uh, Argentine tango. Mm, I'm getting so confused with my dancers. I used to dance with my nanan when I was younger. I Sorry? used to go dancing with my nanan. Were you nanan? Nan yeah, my nanan. Oh. Yeah, I used to... Not, never dance with her in Blackpool, Johnny, no. Never dance with her in Blackpool. But uh, I used to love uh, dancing with my nan. Just put my own little ball gown kind of things on and, and just dance around the uh, floor with her. Uh, love that. Uh, right, you can see straight away. And all you're going to do is let, let it dry naturally. But then what you can do is you can fussy cut out. Now, I did say I'd show you a couple of the colours that you can do where you can mix. So just for a second, I know these are the stamps that we've been playing with, but I just want to show you how fabulous these tricolours are as well. Um, literally, pop a little bit down. I'm going to use my water brush again, but you've got your blue and your yellow, and then again, bring the note in, you're going to create a different tone. So oh, I've got nice. a little, little bit of a turquoise green going off there. If I want to add a little bit more, again, I'm not going to go in directly, I'm going to go at the side of my mat, and I'm going to add more into that. So I'm going to drag those, and you've got possibilities now to create colour are absolutely endless. I could have used the green from the kit, but I think I'll go in and just show you that you can actually create your own colour um, and your own colour palette. So although we're saying 27, did we say, Joe? 27, yeah. Yeah, although we said 27, literally you've got a, a little bit more than that um, in terms of different colour combinations um, to create some other colours as well. And again, just fabulous. And of course, then you can do also like your background techniques as well, because all you need to do there is pick up your colour and then do a little bit of a splash over the top. And um, we've done techniques like that before in the past, but again, just, just showing you why I think you need, especially, and again, I've gone out at lines, but I'm not going to worry too much because I was, I was trimming this down anyway. But you can add, go back in and add more to it um, for a little bit of shade and dimension. But they're very, very forgiving, our tricolours, very forgiving. Um, and again, like I said, if you use your clear overlay, you've got that beautiful sparkle onto there. So if I just bring this in, how are we doing for time, Johnny? You've got a couple of minutes left, Debbie. Oh, no, fair, fair dues. I'm going to go in in straight colour because there's no rhyme or reason with this. It's, um, please excuse the smudging there because I am rushing, realising that uh, we're running out of time. However, the thing that I wanted to show you is... Do you is know what I find funny, Debbie? What do you find funny? You don't put your... When I colour anything, yeah. I have to have my wrist on the side. You don't, do you? No. You mean by popping... No. You, you don't have your wrist on the side. I do when I'm colouring with um, alcohol pens, right. when I'm doing our, our illustrators. See, I wouldn't be, able to, I wouldn't be stable enough brush. to do that. You what, love? I wouldn't be able to... I would be all over the show if I tried to do it like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. Just have a little play. Again, I've got a lovely sparkly poppy coming up there. If you have got a clear overlay brush and you've got a little bit of a, t a red tip, don't worry, because all you're going to do is you can dab it off onto a bit of the tissue until it comes clear again and you're ready and good to go the next time. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Charlotte. I didn't realise you weren't there then. Um, literally, just tab that down and it becomes clear. So you're not ruining anything. Um, and the same with your brush. Now, my brush has got a little bit of a green end. You can clean the majority off, but depending on the ink, it might leave a bit of stainage. But I promise you, when you're going back in, it will, again, the more you um, pop that down, the more clear it goes. Brilliant. So it's, a, it's absolutely fabulous. So you might get a little bit of a stained end, end or brush end um, on your brush pe pens. The same with these. You might nature of the colours that you've used, you might get it on. But all you've got to do is clean that. So again, just pop it into there, clean it. Again, remembering not to leave it lying in there. And make sure you clean it before you pop that back. And then all we've got to do with these is just trim these down. And that's, that's as basic as it is, as easy as it is um, to use our tricolour aquas and to also use these fabulous stamps and then create an amazing project. I've got a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to get my little scissors. In fact, 
can't find my little ones, so I'll go in with the big ones. Again, you would let this dry. Um, there's a couple of those that are still wet, so I'll let that dry naturally. I think I used that earlier, so I'll cut that out. Um, and then I'm just going to go around the outline with my scissors because I'm going to add these on to a background. So if I just pop that in, again, just turning that around and chopping these out. I think Debbie did one the other day on the vellum show where right. she created a beautiful uh, vellum flowers with these. If I remember rightly, if my memory serves me right, um, I'm pretty sure she did something along the lines of the vellum. When she did her vellum masterclass, I think it was a week before last, Debbie. Yeah. It was a, a couple of Thursdays ago, we believe. Uh, almost two weeks ago now. So you but go back time and watch fly that. when you're having fun. I thought that was other day that I saw that. Dear me. What do you... Uh, Lini says she... Was it the American Smooth you were talking about? I think that's it. Uh, what would your dance of choice be if you were on Strictly, Debbie? Oh, it'd definitely be a waltz. Would it? Yeah. What, Johnny, what would yours be? A jive? I think I'd like to like some sort of salsery number, I think. Ooh, yeah. a sexy salsa. Yeah, not samba, though. That's a bit... Not no. Bit, not that would be What's the me. one where they get really close to each other and hip, hip on hip and leg on leg and... That's, the, uh, that's the tango, I think. Is that the tango? When yeah, you get really very, like... very close, isn't it? Goodness me, yeah. I yeah. mean, Sarah had Aliash last year. I mean... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> she had him what, Debbie? I won't mind. <laughs> you won't mind what? Oh, because they won't mind Ali Ash. <laughs> I meant to twirl me round, twirl, twirl, as a partner, to twirl me round and teach me a few moves. That's what I meant. So I was a very lucky lady last year. She was my favourite dance, dance one. I, I, I mean, I'm gutted he's not in it this year, but um, yeah. he's been my favourite. So when I met him last year, I did my hardest not to girl fan over him because he's just... Girl fan? He's just Do you mean fan girl? <laughs> oh, is he fan girl? <laughs> <laughs> not to girl fan over him. Uh, Charlotte, what would your oh, dance of choice be? The tango. Oh. The normal one or the Argentine one? The Argentine tango. Oh. Because she's got very long legs. She, she, I could, I could. Do you know what? I could see Charlotte. I could see Charlotte dancing. Mm. I bet she's had some dancing background, hasn't she, Charlotte? No. Have you danced? Oh, you before? surprise me. She's never danced. Do you want to come danced. out here and give us a go now? See if you can do it. I'm shocked. I thought, I thought you had. I thought you'd done a little bit of dance training, Charlotte. Isn't it funny what you think, and then turns out you don't know at all. <laughs> what you, what you giggling at over there, Mister? You behave nothing, yourself. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> now, all I was going to do with this was take my background piece and do a tad stamping uh, just in the background. Again, just to make a little bit of a background feature, just by using the stamps, actually. And I was just going to place those on. Uh, oh, do you know what you could do? Oh, gosh, I just realised time. I do apologise, Sandra. Um, you could use your masking tape and you could create layered poppies as well. Um, I'm thinking along... Create what, sorry? Layer uh, poppy. Yeah, you could layer. I was just going to stamp a few in the background, but I've just seen the time, so uh, I'm going to have to stop. Uh, but again, I'll just show you. Just layer them up, add in your extra little pieces, and then you can start to build up your design. Um, the one that I'm going with was this, where you stamp in the background, you're just in plain. Uh, again, use some sayings on there, but again, using your watercolour, and these have just been lifted up. If I just turn that over so you can see it, lifted up with a little bit of... Um, chunky glue, but want a better word, but you can tuck them under each other or have them overlaying and have a little play. I will put my main card together uh, in the break, but that's where we were going with this one, just Amazing. to show you how beautiful these stamps really are awesome. and how fabulous these are. I went on a tangent because I were going to initially colour um, this one. Is what I was going to do. But ah. I changed my mind at the last minute because that's using alcohol markers. Um, I, I, fa I fancied changing Beautiful. them because I realised these were on the show. Really stunning. It really is gorgeous. And you're getting them for great price as well. Get one of them for free, which is brilliant. <laughs> so you're going to get the uh, Divine Rose. You're also going to get the Radiant Ranunculus. This one here is your Delicate Blossom. And you've got your Proud Poppies as well. 14 or 20 is your price 
on those. So snap them up. Right, we're going to take a really short break and then uh, we will be back with Sandra for the final instalment of all things Sam Tangle. We'll see you on the other side of this. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Right, we're back, the final instalment. Uh, Sandra is back with me in the studio. Are you feeling revitalised and refreshed and ready to go, Sandra? Always. I mean, Always. I tangle day in, day out. So you do? Yeah, whether this I'm is here, no, whether I'm there, it's... Yeah. This is no lie. So between shows, Sandra is in the cafe uh, around the corner, tangling away. What have you been tangling all afternoon? Oh, I can't tell you. It might be something new. But ah. <laughs> this is where I sort of do my design work. It's like having a day off to design. Right, OK. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. No, no so that's what's been going on. I shall try and, get a, try and get a sneaky peek next time I pop out uh, and have a little look. Lots of new stuff on the show today. I know we've had an exceptionally busy show we've still got the three main collections uh, in stock at the moment which is miraculous quite frankly i'll give you big stock updates uh, as we go through the first collection we'll have a little look at is this christmas one sandra uh, this is really 70 percent now this has gone a lot of this sat in baskets everything you need is included in these kits isn't it it's, all of the instructions it is all the instructions and do you know what even if it's not christmas you can do it for all times of year but we've put christmas in mind here so these wreaths, which I'm going to demonstrate in a minute, are absolutely stunning. And you think it's just a few circles, but what you can actually do with it. And that moon, that moon's just sort of a bonus almost. Right. It's just absolutely beautiful. If you think you've never, ever done this before and you're willing to give it a go, put pen to paper, so to speak, mm. look what you can actually achieve. Yeah, absolutely. Crazy, and the great thing, great thing is you've got stencils in here and you've also got... Um, the the booklets as well is going to guide you through year 
uh, all through all of the different projects. This one here is the stag. Um, stag's so popular, aren't they? They are, and these ones, they can be cute, they can be realistic, it's whatever you want them to be, because you're the artist. I'm giving you the structure and the instructions, so I'm always holding your hand, but you're the one that's actually going to create them, so every single one is going to be totally unique totally unique and we're also then getting as well uh, the assorted stencils uh, for tangly as well we saw you do this one earlier didn't we with the frame and they that look is. absolutely amazing make sure you're going back and watching sandra's earlier shows as well uh if you are just joining us yeah because we you did can watch the christmas back. tree didn't we on the yes on like a really dark green kind of bluey colored really cool oh, and then the, we've got the book as well so how do you envisage just using the book sandra oh, this is the one where you sat at every evening watching tv you can sit and tangle away to your heart's content and add little bits and pieces to these or even just color them if you want to and then of course when you're you're ready to you can take them out of the book you can cut them out die cut them just ink round them and stick them on a card as a topper Mm. And, and there you go, there's so many things you can do with them. And you know, if you've never done it before and you want something to give you a little bit of a, a hand, then you've got a starting point, haven't you? You've also got all the patterns I've used at the front of the book and one page, so you can right. use that as inspiration. They're all, all there too, yeah. It really is uh, an incredible um, bundle, this, and that's why you've loved it so much. That's why 70% has gone. So remember, you're getting the book, you are getting your assorted Christmas stencils, you are getting the stag, and you're also going to receive as well your reefs. All of that comes in there for you. Something a bit different now as well, Sandra. This other one, 80% of the parchment box has gone, by the way. I think this will go before the end of the show today. You will need to be quick for this. I'll show you the inc uh, including the box first. Parchment. Now, not something yes. you'd maybe, not a, not a natural, you know, leap maybe for, you'd think from uh, yeah. tangling, but there's yeah. actually quite I a lot of similarities, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, we're so used to tangling onto paper, and I think sometimes we forget that tangling infiltrates all of your other crafts. And this, mm. for me, was a, a, a genuinely ev an evolving into a different material. So we're still doing exactly the same thing, we're just using a different material, a different tool. But of course you've got those plates, so again, if you're not sure and you've never done it before, following those plates is going to give you the outline, just like you would with a stencil. It's just a slightly different way of doing it and it's so much fun. And the results are a little bit different maybe. But uh, yeah, it's just lovely to do. Look yeah, so these are the these are the plates then that you'll get included. Almost like a guide, aren't they? Which is they brilliant. Are, yeah, so you put the you roll the tool into the the plates there. Yeah, so like a sort of track for it. You do get the put the uh, parchment tools included. Yep. You're getting two sets uh, of instructions in the box here as well. So you've got your uh, tangle and element, and you've also got your uh, stencil for tangling as well. All the uh, instructions there. A dryer sheet, a very important apparently. Sheet. Tumble yeah. drying not, sheet. <laughs> not just to make it smell nice, but it actually eases the paper and the friction between the paper and the ball tool. It does they smell do nice. Smell nice. I just we, we actually did go to quite a lot of establishments, and we <laughs> it sounds did really nice. And we did try lots of different ones because we, we wanted one that the smell was nice, but not yeah. overpowering. Because you might open in the box and it's it like clean, a little bit too like much. Clean it's lovely. Yeah. Uh, and you're getting the parchment in there. So that's the contents of the box. But then we've also put that together, haven't we, with this other stencil and plate as well, which you're going to get included, which yes. is this one. So you get the stencil here. Yep. Yeah the instructions, and then also the plate there as well. So it's a brilliant bundle of products. Uh, absolutely, that. everything works together, or you can do it separately. It's entirely up to you, whether you want to work on something as small as five centimeters square, or if you want to go onto something to make a larger piece. And of course, again, you can use them on fabric, things like that, so, so don't think it's just paper, just parchment. It, it infiltrates every single craft you can yeah. possibly imagine, I'm sure. <laughs> 61.99. <laughs> Uh, or 89.99 if you want to grab those under 50 pounds just under 72 dollars as a platinum member 80 over 80 percent now of the stock there has gone you will need to be uh quick for that over half the stock of this next collection has also gone which is your tangly collection here as well and this one we'll start with the book here, uh, here sandra because this is something a bit different for you isn't it it certainly is yes it's giving you a collection of images those are the original pieces of artwork that we've uh, we've printed there just to give you a bit of inspiration for colours and how, how it goes together. You could still actually add colour and, and more tangles over the top of those if you wanted to. So don't think they're just there to look at. Do something with them. I like to have workbooks rather than 
just pictures of things that you, I mean, you see the butterfly there. But then, of course, you get two of each. You get a shaded version and an outline. So again, you could tangle away. You could perhaps tangle one, colour one. Don't forget colouring on the shaded ones as well. Looks really good. We'll cut them out and build them up, create three-dimensional pieces as well. It's a bit more of a, a crafty book, but with colouring and tangling all mixed in together. Absolutely glorious, isn't it? Really, really lovely cool. Pictures. So lovely that you've got that included. That's brand new. And then we've also got, though, uh, two other extras for you. So two sets of stencils. So it's your uh, birds in flight. You get the stencil and, of course, uh, the workbook that you need. And, of course, all of the hints and tips are in there for you. And then you're getting, I think this might be my favourite bit on the show tonight, you know, uh, yeah. which is this one, the uh, stencil uh, for your keyholes, the secret keyhole. I think these are excellent. You created some in the earlier show and they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, really do create a lovely scene. So you're getting all of that included, which I think is amazing. 47 99 or 69 65 if you want to get your hands on all of that. Now we've got a few books for you. Uh, we are going to share those with you in just a second. Um, we are going to, let's start with book six, Tangles and Techniques. Uh, you can see their tiles, Tangles and Techniques, $20.69, $30, half the stock gone here. Uh, book seven uh, is this next one, uh, $22.49 or $32.61, 80% gone there. We've also got book eight. Oh no, book eight is sold out and gone. So congratulations if you got a hold of those. The stamps have gone, the dies have gone, the rolls gone, everything else has gone. Uh, so uh, yes, please do snap it up. Uh, I believe we're going to look first at the Christmas item. Is that right? I have, I have promised you all day that I was going to show you how to do one of the reads. I can't show you how to do all of them. We, we, we don't have the time. So I'm going to show you the one that... When, when you look at it, you think, gosh, this is difficult. So I'm going to go for that one and show you how to do it. This one here that looks like it's got ribbons going around it, little bow in there, all sorts of things. So what I'm going to do is literally start with that one. You've got a couple of different rings and discs and things going on here. The one we're focusing on is this one. This one gives us, we've got some little slots and we've got little dots all in line. And what I've done is I've transferred this onto my cardstock here so I would suggest I did start in pen I thought no I'm not going to do it in pen do it in pencil to start with because you're going to add extra bits and pieces all the way over so here we go with my pencil now what we're going to do is I'm going to start with these three little lines here they look like little claw marks don't they bless them so let's make a start you see how it's got a funny angle on it you think, okay yeah. what's going on here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the angle this line up here actually I'll, show, I'll use a sharp pencil and I'm going to join it to this dot. So taking this line up and to that dot. Okay? And then awesome. I'm going to do the same with this outside one, all the way along and to that dot. And then let's put the middle one in. Okay? So then I'm going to do the same from the dot. I'm going to come to the end of the line here. So there's a very vocal lorry driver out it's there, isn't there? I know, yeah. There we go, to the end. And then I've got these slots again. I'm going to ignore them and I'm going to start on the next row there. So I always do the outside first, then bring the middle one in. And then go from the dot back up to the line. Back up to the line. And then back to the dot. Back to the dots. The middle one in. Back to the line. To the line. The dot. You see how it's starting to create this sort of swirly shape. Mm. So work it around. And of course, you're going to do this really lightly because you can then make any amendments as you sort of end up doing it in pen afterwards. But just follow it round. I'm not going to do all of it. Take you know, take a little bit. But you see how that's going? Yeah. So then I've got these little lines again and more dots. So. Let's take those, those lines and join the dots this way this time. So if I work on those two, put the middle one in, and then again, bring them round, put this one in, and again, bring them round. So now I've got this almost crisscrossing little loop design going on. It looks quite Celtic, doesn't it, at this it point? Does. It does. It's, it's giving us a starting point for our little wreath design here so let's bring that in but you see once you get the hang of what 
dots you join to which line it actually sort of you can see it come into life then you can sort of see where it's it's headed so you see you've got this sort of loops going on mm. so then if I come in with a pen so you can see the difference here I'm going to create it doesn't matter where we do this in a sense I'm going to create like a uh, a little line so sort of a curve and then I'm going to put another one in see I'm putting them in different places it's almost like um, a little sort of a, a backward S maybe kind of shape see working around and then if I make it a little bit thicker join it a little bit thicker a little bit thicker see that one there I'm well, that's fabulous fasten it off so you've now got your little bit of ribbon working around if I just rub out those lines inside the ribbon there again I wouldn't do this I would I would leave everything until the end but just so you can see it clearly so you see how your ribbon's oh, yeah. working its way around now so then what else could we add we could go in with we've got little hearts so if I could use the hearts from the uh, the Christmas cards, we could put some little hearts on. Or let's bring in some holly. So, not a, not a space spare here. I've got some, so there you go, that's the one for my cards, look. I've uh, got some little holly here, so you can bring it in. And let's use this to start creating. There's our holly piece, put a line in the middle. So this is why we do it all in pencil, usually to start. So you, you know you can sort of work out what bits you want in front what bits you want behind but, uh, just to sort of show you how it would work you can see there that it's drawing these in because you could do that by hand if you wanted to see how that's sort of starting to form we've got uh, some little circles for berries there let's put um, part of a berry in there see how it goes underneath if I just rub out those little sections there now then you'd work this all the way round. Let's have a little bit more here. So you'd sort of systematically build it up as you're going around to create this sort of little design. So maybe uh, another one. This is where it gets really creative because you're the designer here. You've got the, the tools and equipment. You've got the instructions. But you're deciding where these little bits and pieces yeah. go and how you're going to sort of work it. So let's bring in, um, you know, we have like little beads going around. So let's bring in a row of beads. Again, let's start somewhere in a different direction. So I'm going to have it going over the top there and then under here and then over the top and maybe under here and then over the top. And then you could use a gel pen for this. You know, a little bit of glitter. And again, notice I always I like to do my beads sort of thicker and thinner or smaller and larger, so you, you don't have to worry about trying to make them all the same size then. So you could have your, your little row of beads going around. There we go, you see we had it in there. And this little build-up of step-by-step step as you go doesn't feel like it's... A really difficult thing to do if you no, go. No, it doesn't sort of feel overwhelming, does it? One at a time. So here now, I'm just sort of putting in. I mean, I've got one for tinsel as well, so we could put tinsel in if we wanted to. But you know, I say we could we could spend the whole show just on one. <laughs> but if I put these it's mesmerising. It really is. Little lines back in now. So I'm just sort of drawing in the lines that you can still see, really. And you know, the more the more you add to it, the more the tinsel and the berries and the holly or, or the hearts or whatever you want to add to it, the more detail that starts to sort of form from it. And then you can start to see where this wonderful wreath actually works its way around. So I've got a little bit there, look. There go. And of course, doing it on a larger piece of paper, you could have things hanging from it. But look how that's sort of forming. If I just bring in a little bit of coloured pencil now, I'm just going to add a touch just on that ribbon. So again, you don't have to colour much in. You could say, right, I'm just going to pick a little piece of it and add a bit of colour. So you can sort of see where uh, where it heads. There you go. 
see a little bit of that, a little bit of um, let's bring a touch of green in on those. So again, if you're not a particular colorist, you can shade this with pencil as you would usually do. You could alcohol markers, whatever you want to sort of do with it. But just add a little sort of statement in there, a little piece. Let's bring my pencil back. Add a little bit of pencil in those. And again, I'm not really colouring in. I'm, I'm applying the graph, graphite to the uh, piece there. Okay. Who would have thought the, this uh, was just a few book, dots to start with? Yeah, with a Christmas book, or yes. any of the books actually, what colouring mediums would you use on them? Because the V says if we used alcohol markers, would it go through the paper into the, the other pages behind? It would, yes, but because it's a smooth, super smooth paper, uh, uh, certainly on the, the, the little Christmas book, there's nothing on the back pages. Right, OK. So you could take that out. Put a piece of paper behind, of course, because we know that alcohol markers will, will bleed through. That's what they're supposed to do. But, yeah, alcohol markers, uh, regular pencils. I would perhaps avoid... Uh, watercolour pencils with the book if you did a little bit and you did you put a little bit of water on that be fine yeah. but yeah whatever your regular sort of go-to is whether it's pencils or pens it's absolutely fine of course if you go over you've got two of everything in the art collection book anyway so okay so you see how that's sort of working its way around i'm going to bring in the final one now but what i have done in the final one i've used oh here we go i've got it look i've used this stamp which is one of yours the Merry Christmas you can see look I've got glitter everywhere so I've been using it quite a bit and bringing that in then you see now where awesome. the ribbon's been formed really cool isn't and it instead of using the green for the holly I've actually used a grey alcohol marker so right. then stamp the Merry Christmas in the middle and you've had such fun doing this and enjoyment actually creating it giving that to somebody it's just lovely, isn't it? It's the it last really thing is. we always do. But the shading strange. around the aperture in the reef is very clever because yeah. it looks like it's almost decoupaged up on the outside. It does, doesn't it? And that's, mm. that's literally ex exactly the same as what I've just done here. I've perhaps taken a little bit more time over doing right. it, but you see exactly. I just put some pencil on, blended it out with a tortillon. You could come in with a, a white pencil to add the highlights. You know, spend a little bit more time, but we don't have the luxury of time when we're, we're trying to get loads of demos. But again, just uh, pushing that in there. And there is your Christmas wreath. Job done. Absolutely glorious, isn't it? Let me remind you then what you're getting in this collection. So you're getting the reefs, which is this one here. You've just seen uh, okay. Sandra demonstrating there. So you will get the reefs uh, in there, your stencils. You will also then get the stags as well. And again, you've got everything you need to create those different styles of stag that you can see uh, on the front of that one. And you've then got these. So if you want to do your acorns, your frames, your bells, these stencils are going to allow you to do that. And then also, if you're just looking for, you know, something a bit quick to do, you just want a really quick tangling project, then you've got the book here included as well, which has got all of the outline areas that you can then start to tangle into. A brilliant, brilliant selection of products um, very very busy on it at the moment three quarters of this has gone 56.66 or 56.49 uh, is your price there on those so make sure you are snapping those up we are going to move on to the parchment box it is 85 percent gone on its way towards limited stock just remember what you're getting in here then so you're getting the parchment tools you're getting two of the plates as well which are essentially the guide um for you to or you're going to pop your parchment tool in there and it's going to really run around for you so i mean really simple i think if anyone was sort of nervous about tangling i think this really is a very very accessible starting point um so you've got your um Butterfly flowers and your tangle emboss, all the instructions that you need in there. You're getting the mat, the dryer sheet and the parchment as well included, which is glorious. And uh, we are then throwing in also the butterfly stencils, which is your tangle and emboss and an extra plate for you as well. So actually £69 is what you should be paying for this, over $100 is £61.99 or 89.99 if you want to get your hands on it but it's on its way to limited stock it's very very busy it's approaching 
limited stock now. This seems to be the one that's really caused the buzz today, you know. It seems to yeah. uh, read that people hadn't really thought about tangling and parch craft together. And it sort of yeah. it is definitely a leap, though. But it doesn't make sense, I think, when you see it. Yeah, I think it, because it's so traditional and... and it's sort of it's got a sort of set way of doing things I've, I've, I've completely changed it around and tangled it and uh, turned it into what I wanted it to be so I've, I've sort of broke the rules I'm sorry if you your parchment people out there are, right no there are rules there are rules I do apologize but I've had to do it my way because that's how I feel that I wanted it to work so what I'm going to do at the minute I'm going to show you the stencils I'm going to show you obviously how we can do it on paper but then I'm going to show you how you can use them on parchment as well the stencils themselves of course we, we know what the stencils are like now they are they're mylar they're really good quality uh, 350 micron mylar so they're yeah. going to withstand a lot and of course then you've got your, your acrylic plates slightly different way of doing it but I wanted to show you that you can actually use the stencils you've already got to actually parch and create these lovely sort of designs. So how do we do it with the regular paper? Here we go. So we start with um, choosing one of the bodies. I'm gonna go with this body here and draw that round. And then we choose the wings. We can choose any of the top, any of the bottom to go together. So maybe I'm gonna have this one here and draw that one in. And then of course, to actually get this in the right place again, I'm just gonna draw on it and mark little sections of the body there. Turn it over, line it up again, and then draw that back in. So we're gonna get that lovely symmetry. Nice. So see, that'll just rub off. You get inky fingers, but it'll rub off, or it'll wash off later. So then let's go for this wing base. Draw that in. And then of course you draw around and that's straight, but you can actually see through it, so. I'm going to put that in. And then that, of course, gives you your butterfly to have a couple of little loops on the end. And of course, instructions show you how to do this and how to add extra bits and pieces. So you see, this is how we would usually do it, and this is how we've been creating those lovely stencils, you know, the keyhole and all the rest of it that we've done today, exactly like that. But let's, let's change the material up. So let's bring in the embossing mat let's bring in a piece of parchment paper and of course a tumble dry sheet right what does a tumble dry sheet actually do it's going to help the tool uh, work along with the parchment it's going right. to allow it to sort of flow a little bit freely whereas if you didn't do it it would sort of stick and push and you'd find it a little bit tricky to do so that's why we, we use that so here's my stencil again so i'm going to put this in now you could actually draw this on the front with a pencil so you've got your design to start with if you wanted to but if you sort of a little bit like me and you want to get on with it let's just draw around that okay a couple of times very lightly okay and then let's take the wing shapes so it doesn't it doesn't matter if they're not the same I just want you to get the idea draw around the wing shapes turn it round Draw around the wing, okay. And then I used this one. So if anything, I suppose I'm, I'm going in with a lighter press here, uh, just to sort of give you an idea. Now at this point, I'd probably go away and do something else just for a little while because you have, because you've stretched the paper. What you need to do is just let it rest for a little bit, but. Imagine how do we have done that. I'm just going to swap and use the larger tool here. And now I'm coming in freehand. I've got the butterfly shape, but what I'm wanting to do now is come in and do my own thing on it, just like we would on paper. So if we look at where we were with these shapes here, we were the same here. And now I know you can't see that so well at the minute. Let's bring a piece of paper in underneath it there. Oh, can't see it at all there. Hang on. <laughs> Find a better colour. Here we go. Here we go. So if I was to turn it over now, you can now start oh, to yep. see you've got the white line. So we're actually working on the back. So bring that in a little bit more. Let's add in some little swirls. There we go. 
So completely freehand, but of course I need that embossing mat underneath because it's giving me the, the ability for the tool to push into the paper there. There you go. Let's just put a few little lines on. Now, of course, on the, the plates, you, you do a similar thing instead of drawing around the stencil. There you go. You see what you're getting there? You're getting this lovely design. So where is your plates? You would put this on and your tool would run around the grooves. We've actually just gone in there completely freehand. So you're getting the best of both worlds, really. You're getting those options to do whatever you want to do with it. But of course then, adding the colour exactly the same as before. If I was to bring in, where is he again? If I bring in this one and add a little bit of colour, I'd be adding it to the front, just like this. And then, there we go, a little bit there. And if I use this one, again, let's bring that in so you can see what I'm doing with it. You can add colour to the front or the back. So you've got the best of both worlds there. If I wanted to say go in quite strong with this colour here, but then turn it over and the next section, add it in on the back there. So you're getting sort of a little bit of a bonus because where you, you're you working on the back, you can see there, you're getting, you're getting a darker impression here. It's going a bit heavier there. Then you are the more subtle on the back so you're getting something that's sort of almost three-dimensional but well, of course you don't have to use parchment with it as we said you can come in and you can use uh, let's just put a little bit of gel pen in this so you can add the same sort of thing so whether you wanted to stick with parchment whether you wanted to sort of come in and do a bit of paper crafts I suppose the only thing you think well you can't use the plates to work on paper but you see you're getting a lot of different variations so I just want to bring in one that I've been doing or working on in paper. This is, a, again, another one of those work in progress things. Uh, hence, I've got the grey out. Here we go. Here's one of our oh, butterflies. Amazing. Yeah. So how have I done that? I've done it in exactly the same way as we've just drawn it. So here we go. There, there's, which body is it? There's the body look. But I've actually drawn it using a gel pen. And right. there's my wing. And there's the bottom wing, so exactly the same stencil there. I've actually drawn my designs in with a gel pen and then I've coloured over the top with pencil. Right. So just bringing it in, adding a little extra few bits and pieces there. Let's have a look. So I've, I've been using the, if you've got my gel pens, I've been using the, the purple and the blue there. So I'm just coming in and adding extra bits. So this particular set, the possibilities are absolutely endless whether you want to work on paper parchment or both whether you want to use different colors it's just so lovely to put all three together and i honestly i'm just loving it i think discovering this new pe paper is just really it's a game changer for me so is it something new to you then parchment something you've been yes. doing for a little while yeah i've um I've, I've always known about it and I've done little bits about it and my sister used to enjoy parchment but it's only recently I've picked it back up again mm. uh, and I think it was picking it back up and thinking do you know what actually this is tangleable why have I not thought about this mm. before and then it's taken a little while to to change the way we work right. in order to get the, the acrylic plates to work properly mm. so quite a bit of uh, research and development gone in there but uh, yeah, we've, we've got it, and I think it's here to stay, honestly. You're going to see uh, lots more uh, different bits People have bits absolutely pieces. loved it today. It's equally busy again oh, now so uh, in this pleased. final hour as well. So pleased. But, yeah, so whether you, you want a parchment, whether you want... Oh, actually, I'll, I'll bring in... Do I have... There's so many bits and pieces, you know, all in my box. So here, here's the parchment version of uh, using all the plates together creating that um, lovely coloured image and then keeping some of the, the white. But then looking at it on paper as well, you've got the best of both worlds with this bundle. It's just mm. absolutely beautiful. And the instructions show you how to do these two, which are actually this one. Yeah, they're both in the art collection book as well. 
Yeah. So it's, uh, butterflies are everywhere. Mix and match them and put them where you want. Put these into that art collection book. It's, um, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased I did it and I'm really, really enjoying it myself. So Brilliant. There I know you, you guys at home are going to absolutely love it as well. You're getting the uh, parchment tools in here then, remember. All of your instructional booklets that you need. Uh, you are also getting your two... Uh, different plates included as well. Let me show you these on, against the uh, against the uh, embossing mat. So that's your first one that you've got there. And then you're also going to get these one. These two coming in the box for you as standard. Uh, and you've got your parchment, of course, in there as well. And the all-important dryer sheet. Don't forget that. So that's coming included in the box. Then we've bundled that up with another couple of items, which I know you're going to absolutely love. So this first one here is another parchment plate for you. It's coming alongside that beautiful stencil that you've just seen Sandra using. And you've got full instructions on how to use that plate as well. A brilliant, brilliant deal. 61.99, 89.99 uh, is your price on there. If you're watching this show back at a later date or you know a few hours after it's aired check the website for the stock situation because i think it's probably going to have gone uh, it is very very busy it's almost limited stock so uh, please 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 check that one out we're going to go back to the tangly uh, collection which is this one here 60 percent of this has gone remember what you're getting in here so you're going to get uh, your bird in flight stencil and of course the workbooks which, which is going to take you through exactly how you're going to put that together the same here i think this might be my favorite item on the show today it's these ones here through the keyhole sounds like the uh, Lord Grossman show doesn't it I know it does Today. a little bit but oh, it's just such a beautiful stencil there's, there's so many possibilities so many little worlds you can create mm. inside that keyhole and of course the little mouse at the front yeah, just it's adorable. sort of shows you uh, the perspective of it really Really, really cute. And also then getting the uh, Santangle art collection as well. So uh, a collection of Sandra's favourite images that you can uh, tangle onto, you can colour. It's completely up to you. Uh, you do exactly as you wish with it. So a really brilliant selection, this one. 47.99 or 69.65. I think if you've got all the hardware you need already to tangle, you know, like your fine liners, etc. This is a great starting point for any beginner. This would be a really great place to join uh, the party 38 39 55 72 is your platinum price uh, here under those ones uh, Joe the circles under the butterfly where are those stencils from circles under the butterfly oh they are they are in with the box the parchment so in the box actually, in with the parchment three plates you get three you've got shall I go through it my yes, that you've got you've got my butterfly haven't you? have I oh that's that's okay though that's fine yeah so you actually get three plates in total in this first one. I can show you the actual samples. So you'll get the, the plate to do, oh, there you go, the plate to do this frame. Yep. You also, which is that one there, there you go. You get the plate to do the butterfly, which Joe's got over there because he Brilliant. borrowed it earlier. I stole it. Uh, you've also, on the butterfly plate, you also get the little flower, so you ah. can actually make lots of things with that. So you get that two plates and you also get the instructions you know, from our roof that uh, give us some little hints and tips but you also get those instructions showing you how to create that brilliant but then the other plate which he's got the hang on a second let's put this behind it yes you which you've got the smaller butterflies the flowers in this loop don't forget you can extend this loop frame to make something more rectangular or larger okay and then of course you get the instructions showing you how to do that as well and then you get the butterfly stencils as well so it's actually three mm. plates, three lots of instructions, and then you get the stencils. So yeah. this, that's just instructions. And all your, and and your, all all the your tools, tools as well. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant deal it is. Yeah, there's, there's a lot um, in there. There's a lot to get through. Uh, Beth saying that the last project was beautiful, as was uh, Crafty Angie. Uh, Mary Rhino loved it. Shannon loved it as well. Uh, Mary Rhino says, I just love to work with parchment. I haven't done it in a while. I just really love the technique and the beautiful twist. Uh, that you've put on it as well really busy on that parchment box we are go, going to go back to the tangly collection uh, of course uh, because um, i'm glad to see you using the book i think it's a really great sort of for anyone that wants to just uh exactly you sort of join the party halfway along really yeah uh, as i know probably it, a lot yeah. of beginners might and it, it's a tricky one isn't it and i i just we've not even touched on it we've looked at it but we've not touched on it looking at the two images here i've got a shaded version and i've got an outline but if I look a little bit closer at the shaded version, I, it's not exactly the same and I don't have all the tangles around. Right. I've given you a snapshot because, of course, when I do the original, I then redraw it. So you've, you've got a little bit of both. So you can take elements from this and add it to this 
or you can just colour this one, which okay, no. I'm going to add a few elements, then we'll colour both uh, in the section, you'll see what it's like. And of course I have said that you could take it out of the book and you could put this, if you've got a foiling machine, you can actually foil the images as well. So I've got a couple, you'll tell when I sort of work my way through the book. Uh, hang on a second. There you go, you see that one from earlier, oh, yeah. you see how actually, it, actually the foil sticks to the laser toner, so yeah, that works. So here we go, and you think, okay, what am I going to do with this, how am I going to work it? Well, if I bring in my Christmas book, remember me saying I'd got all those little tangles and steps there, that how to do things, can use that as inspiration right. to sort of help me out a bit. So although there aren't any in this book, you can, you can use the pictures to sort of help you. So. Let's have a go. I've got some little flowers and things going around. I want to put some swirls in. I do love my swirls. So let's sort of take it from here and bring in some little swirls. Now the beauty of this is because I've actually used this pen to draw these images, if we're also using a fine liner pen to add to it, you're not going to know which has been printed and which has been drawn. Some of the elements you can go back over some of them you might not want to. You might want to have that little distinction there. See if I bring another one in here, just thicken that up a bit there. And then add a couple of little curves there. And then let's bring in some loops. So immediately, although you started with my artwork, you've now got something completely different because you're starting to create your own. Okay. And then uh, You've also got to think, bringing this back, as we have done so many, many times today, to parchment, you could actually trace this onto a piece of parchment. Okay. And parch the whole thing. Imagine that, the whole clock on parchment. It's just mm. beautiful. So again, I'm going to put another flower in. But this is the fun of this. You can do your own thing. If you've um, you brought the frames, I know I've brought frame stencils before. If you've got those, you could put a frame around this as well and create lots of different bits and pieces Perfect. going on. So you see I've got some curls there, so let's bring some up and in and around here too. I think it's just, I think we, we get a little bit scared sometimes, don't we, of actually drawing in a book. And I'd like you to sort of see these as, as workbooks. Yeah. You know, so don't think they've got to be completely pretty. You don't, you don't need to show them to anybody else, but just sort of do your own little thing on it. I might even look, bring some little bubbles out there and add some of those. It is absolutely it. mesmerising to watch you do this, Sandra. It was like hypnotising, it really is. Yeah. This is a bit where we, uh, if we go three, yeah. two, one back in the room, no one's got the phone or their wallet at this point. Is that the so way it no goes? One. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm in an absolute trance over here. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking little elements from, from here and, and adding it to it, so I'm just seeing how it goes. There's not a massive amount of planning or, right. th or thought in that way. It's just what sort of pleases me in that moment as to what I actually do next. So that, you know, you could just keep going, we could just fill it up. How did I'm you get started with all of this, Sandra? Oh, goodness me. Um, I've always drawn, always. My dad was a, a particular good artist. Uh, he wasn't, you know, he didn't do it as a living, but he did say to me, Sandra, you're not gonna be an artist because artists don't make any money. You need to right. earn a living. That's yeah. what my dad told me. So uh, I used to just sort of do it as a bit of fun and then you stop and you, you carry on with work. I actually went into teaching, but I used to teach uh, woodwork and metalwork okay. to secondary school. Um, so that was, that was interesting. And then uh, I did a little bit of what we call graphics. So you know how to do perspective, things like that with the students. And I always used to have a picture on an easel at the front that I'd draw little bits on. Right. And that. Uh, Kids are like, you know, you always say to us, Miss, you know, we should go and follow our dreams and do what we want to do. Mm. Why don't you? Right. And, and at that point, you think, do you know what? No, why, why don't I? So after 12 years in a secondary school, I, uh, I gave it all up to follow my dream, which never works straight off, does it? <laughs> no. Often works, doesn't work first time around. No. So, you know, it's a, a few quite long, hard years of really working out what it was I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to uh, sell my art or do that in some way. And I remember my, my late sister now, I mean, she, uh, she died in a few, a few years ago now, 
Younger sister, we made each other a promise. We said we'd follow our hearts and go and do what we wanted to mm. do. So, I, you know, I stuck with it and I thought, you know what, if she can't follow her dream, but I'll stick with it and see where it leads. And then uh, I was spotted at a, a trade show doing some artwork and somebody said, oh, you need to be in the craft industry doing some crafty bits and pieces. Mm. And you think, oh, that's not a bad idea. So that's where that sort of started. We'd always done a little bits of craft anyway. We'd watched, mm. you know, all the, the TV channels as you do. So I, I ended up on a, a TV channel doing that. Tangling, I think, had always been there, mm. even though I wasn't quite sure or certain as to what it was. It was always there in my artwork. And then uh, it just sort of moved on from there. It, it's evolved over five or six years, I would say. And then, of course, lockdown happened, and the classes that I was doing with Tangling, just to keep us going, I went online. Right. And uh, again, you all know what's coming, those of you that know me. I was going to do 12 tiles, and then we were all going to be back to working as we do. Right. And, uh, oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And on Friday, uh, we're actually going to be doing tile number. You ready for this? 270. <laughs> there we go. So this is Goodness. where the instruction books come from. The, yeah. All the videos are out there on YouTube and on my Facebook page, where we, uh, we do a little, little picture twice a week, a little tile. And then, of course, the instruction books came about, and then the stencils came from that because we wanted to do... We didn't want to just sort of do the odd tile now and again. We wanted to create something a little bit different, so that's where the stencils came about, and it's sort of evolved from there. So I'm just going to... You see the difference? I've put a little bit of colour in here, and now I'm doing a little bit of colour here. If you're not sure about shading, you can go onto this one and you can follow where I've already put the shading and then add just a little bit and you get a completely different feel on this one than the one you do on the, the other page. But it is amazing, yeah, just because yeah, it's gives a, you a bit sort of more different confidence. background. Yeah, just to sort of look at the difference. So you've got, there's, there's this one, we've added some colour in. I've got to work a bit harder with pencils on this one because you've got the white of the background. But here, because we've actually got the shadow already in there, it's not so bad. I'm just following, you know, where, I, where I've got the dark bits on there, I'm putting my darker colour pencil, and the light bits going in with the colour bit. And again, nice thing about this, we can still add to it, but rather than use the black, why not come in and use a grey? Because it's slightly more subtle, so I can come back in and I can add in, let's go in one there, a little curl there with a grey pen and this is why I've given you extras I've given you two of the shaded and two of the outlines because you do the first one and you're going to get ideas they oh, do you know what I wish you'd have done that on the first one well you can go on to the second and you can add these you know little bits and ideas as they come onto that one so you're going to eventually end up with four images that are completely different from each other mm. look, I mean look at this one towards this one, the difference it makes. Let's add another one round here. So please never be afraid to draw on them, that's what they're there for. I want you to uh, enjoy and use the artwork, you know, uh, as best as it can. It's there to be seen and used, not just sort of looked at and uh, then ignored, you know, do something with it. How do you know when to stop, Sandra? You don't. Right. <laughs> Uh, what, what I tend to do is I will do so much um, and then, you know, perhaps the evening comes to an end or you think, do you know what, I've got to move on to something else and leave it lying around somewhere. Well, if it's a, a piece of artwork, not necessarily in a book, but it's a piece of artwork, I will actually put it on the fridge and right. hold it on with some magnets and then as I walk past, you know, as you do, walk past the fridge, not yep. go to it, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you stop and have a look at it and you could even you make notes or you can add bits, you take it off the fridge and think, oh, I need to add this bit there, put it back on. And it could be, it could stay like that for two or three days. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, put, we put our children's work up there. Why don't we put our own up and evaluate it a little bit? And, and yeah, great to, idea. Yeah, and then you either say, do you know what, that's done, and sign it. Never sign it till it's done. Till it's finished. Yeah. And, uh, is, that, uh, is that, is that, any specific reason or you just never do? 
No, I, th I think once it's once you sign it, you've signed it. Right. And I think that that is the end of it. Then you shouldn't really go back and add to it. I mean, I'm not saying you should never do it, but I think it's a nice sort of way to say yes, case that closed. one's done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Case closed. Move on. Really. So. Absolutely. I, yeah, if I was going to use alcohol markers with this, I know I'd lose the picture underneath. But, you know, that's a, a chance you take, isn't it? And you think, if I want to do it. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Have we got two minutes I can show you how to transfer Absolutely, it to parchment? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because you can stand in colour forever, couldn't we? All right, I've got a little bit here. So, the idea would be, let's just take a little bit. I'm going to use pencil. I've got my parchment there. This is the front. So Ruth does say, just make a note, I'm going to put F there for front, so right. I know. And here we go, I'm just going to do this flower here. So if I draw this round, there we go. I'm not going to do the lines in the middle, because I know to, to do that anyway, it's fine. There we go. And maybe just, just a couple of leaves. There we are. Just so you get the idea of it, okay? Then if I move this out of the way and come back to my little parchment base, remember, always back to this. Now, where's my tool? Here we go. So this is the front. We never emboss on the front, so I'm going to turn it round. OK? Awesome. There's that tumble dry sheet again. <laughs> and then if I come on in with my tool and I'm going to now draw that shape, follow it round, so you're going to get a bit of it because I've not traced it all, obviously. But this means what you could do is you could change the time on the uh, the hands on the clock, wouldn't you? So just be careful when you're you're pressing on with this. You don't want to be going too heavy because it will go through. There we are. And we go with a few flicks. We know that there's uh, little bubbles in between. And we've got some little sort of uh, lines on here. There we go. Just put a little bit of shading in there. So now I'm going to look if I can find. Ah, okay. If I turn it over and actually rub away the pencil, you see where well, you're starting now to get that design coming onto your. Parchment. Yeah, amazing. Someone's yeah. asking uh, if all parchment is the same or is there a specific sort of weight or type that you use in these boxes or with yeah. this kind of project? Um, this one is, if you go too heavy, you've got to really press on to get it through, so right. you don't want to you don't want to go too heavy. This is 150 GSM. Yeah. So you want to be looking at anywhere between 130, 150. Mm. If it's any lighter, you've got more chance of this tool going through your paper. You don't right. want that. And you want it a nice weight. So it feels nice and you've mm. got a good quality. So, yeah, yeah so 130, 150 kind of thing. Excellent. Okay. Loads of people loving this. Uh, Stephanie says, I'm enjoying watching this. I decided to buy the butterfly bundle. Looking forward to giving it a try. Uh, Crafty Angus is a parchment with a butterfly... Um, the parchment with the butterfly it had circles under the butterfly. It's gorgeous. I'm yep. not quite sure what you, which one that is. Maybe we'll see them in the samples in a minute. Uh, Mary Reiner says, I'm mesmerised too. Also, your voice is very soothing, Sandra. Oh, my husband doesn't always think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I uh, remember what you're getting then in this Tangley collection. Uh, this one uh, here, you're going to get the, um, the secret key house, which, secret keyhole, sorry, yep. which is awesome. Key house. <laughs> uh, you're renaming these collections for you, Sandra. Uh, I know. Bird in flight as well, and then you're getting uh, the art book of course included too, which has got lots of uh, Sandra's favourite artwork in there. Which you've got multiple options to um, add tangle or add colour or you do any of those things. It is uh, completely up to you. But Sandra's got a loads of amazing bits that she's going to share with us at the end of the show, by the looks of it. Okay. Right, so uh, quite a few bits and pieces here. These ones are actually starting from the art collection book. So uh, the, oh, the, dra the, uh, the dream catcher, just beautiful. So it's been taken out, trimmed and matte and layered. So you've got a lovely picture to frame there. Then of course, you've got the little uh, moon, very steampunky this one with the flowers coming out. So again, whatever color you want to go. And of course, uh, one of my sentiment stamps has been used as well. So, you know, it's nice to sort of mix and match. Uh, we saw this one this morning. This is out the book too. Again, a little bit of a stamp on there. The same, oh, look at that. A few bit of gel pen on there as well. Lots of bubbles. It's beautiful. 
And then, of course, nice. one that's framed. Just lovely, that's aren't beautiful. they? And again, it depends what you do with it, whether you want to ink round, just a little bit of colour. It's just lovely. Right with the butterflies. Yep. You could do it onto fabric. On fabric, I love there that. There we go. So this do we need one's to use been... a different sort of. Uh, actually, we do use the same pen. It depends if you want to wash it. You right. need to just do a test on whatever pens you're using. Okay. But this has been appliqued, and we've used um, it's an ink tense kind of pencil, so it's going to stay on. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's been hand, hand sort of stitched a few gems on there. This one. Oh, I love that. Look at the butterflies there. So absolutely beautiful. You don't have to think just two D. You can think three dimensional as well. Oh, that so, is two. That is. That is a box. It is that a box. Is, frame, that is sending yeah. me south. Looking yeah. at that, I'm like, whoa! It is that two D or three D? Look at that! Look at that! It it's is three D. I've got to come over and have a look. Come have a look at that. And have a look at that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that it's making my eyes go funny. Like, oh, it's amazing! It? It's yeah, absolutely it? incredible. Colour pencils. Then we've got some Christmas ones. So here's the the little poinsettia in the in the ring there. That's the wreath around the outside. Then we've got the little moon. We've gone really crazy there. The Christmas tree from the Christmas cards. The stags. Look at the stag in there. Really so lovely. So you can do really little and ones. That was in you... the Christmas collection. This wasn't is it, the, the Christmas stag, yeah. collection. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So you know you can create your own little scene there. This is out the Christmas book. So you've got Beautiful. the frame and the little baubles. The wreath, which is actually we've used four tiles there. This is a student of mine actually done this one. Four tiles and uh, he's, he's painted it. Amazing. Look at that. There's the, another one of the wreaths with the pine cones joined in there. And again, we've got a bit of a fabric one. Oh, there that's it is. Really got the wreath lovely. in the middle. And then you've got the little trees in the corner. So it's just lovely to sort of mix and match. Got so many Christmas ones. Look, the wreath look with the bells, the, the little pine cones there, different versions. And then, of course, we've got those lovely little stags. And if you've got uh, 30 seconds. We've got, look, there we go, keyhole. Oh, I love that one. Lovely, isn't it, with that tower and the little lights and everything going on. And you've got the mouse on its own. Just so, so cute. cute. Yeah, mousy. I think we called it mousy, mousy from last night. Simply mousy, yeah. There you've got another one, little, little mouse looking in at the toadstools, a little butterfly there. You can actually extend it and go larger. You've got the whole family. You've got all these lovely sort of little toadstools going on. Or go even larger. Because, of course, once you've got the shape and you know how to do it, you can go as large as you like, can't you, if you want mm. to. And then you've, uh, you've got this wonderful sort of keyhole with the stag, but now as a giraffe. The and stag that's become a giraffe. The stag that's now as yeah. a giraffe. But they're lovely, aren't they? So many things you can do with it. Yeah, and Of course, really, one really of the, the bird in flight. Oh, that's lovely. So from those little shapes, little triangles and ovals, look what you can actually be creating just a little Absolutely bit of pencil stunning. on a piece of paper and mm. you know just go with it every single one will be different so don't try and compare exactly but yeah, yeah it's all brilliant uh, massive thank you Sandra it's been a pleasure yeah, uh, as it always pleasure. Love has it. do you know when you're back with us again next I think head? it's about the 15th it's quite a bit of sooner September yes oh not too Ooh. long to wait no. mark your diaries uh, absolute pleasure to have you in the studio yeah, as always thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Uh, so much please check out your baskets on anything you might have from Santangle very very low uh, on the stock of those three collections now we are going to take a quick break uh, and myself and Deborah will be back with a second instalment of Creative Cravings let's look at some of the fun stuff we like to get up to here at Crafters TV. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. The one that was really funny, Ben. You didn't it was better than you I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> oh Can we yeah, flip that? Yeah. Oh, we'll Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. 
Crafters TV, create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Very, very busy for all of the items that you saw there uh, with Sandra. Lots and lots of you talking about um, um, how amazing they are as well. Uh, Janine loving it. Various is beautiful. Uh, Eleanor thanking Sandra for her demos all day as well. Stephanie loved it. Mary Ryan says what gorgeous uh, samples. Love the uh, Christmas. Love all the things Christmas. Thank you so much, Sandra. Yeah, we'll have Sandra back again. Not too distant future so make sure you come and join us for that we're going to move on debbie is back with me in the show are you okay debbie you feel revitalized oh absolutely i've had my tea oh nice now, normally you know that i have my tea when we get back to house you normally it's do usually yeah. late and it's usually very unhealthy yeah. uh, but i've had a really nice um sw there well, because there's other famous diets out there uh, sw oh, yeah 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 that's the one oh. uh, and i had a lovely <laughs> salt and pepper yeah. <laughs> salt what, and what pepper was it? Uh, chicken chow mein. Oh. It was delicious. I it fancy was. having something really naughty after work no, tonight. No, I'm being good. I'm being good. I yeah. told you, I'm back on that bandwagon. And I, I might have off. one of the uh, you know, the really naughty pizzas from the naughty takeaway oh, place. I just well, feel like that having something really gross. Yeah, <laughs> naughty pizza is in like the one that's really bad for you. And it's good. they're quite expensive as well, aren't they? It's a problem. You know the ones I'm on about. Uh, oh, I could pick it up on the way home, though, couldn't I? I could go and get... Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, less about my tea. Let's, uh, let's talk about these uh, border dyes for you. So it's the uh, Timeless Border Dye Collection with the six elements. You've got the Rose Garden in there. Uh, you've also got the Flourishing Foliage. This one here is the Butterflies. That one there is your Ditsy Daisies. Uh, then you've got the Dancing Dragonflies. And you've got the Wild Flowers as well a really lovely selection here you are saving 15 pounds or 18 dollars so a really great price for you as well and i'm uh, guessing then debbie are these gonna we can use these in the same way we would like an edgeable style die is that right yeah because they are from the edgeable range so we call them a timeless border because they've got that lovely um straight edge feature to them and i'll show you what i mean by that just with a few samples that i've got um, just so you can get an idea of what these look like so you've got this um edge um edge dry but it's got this beautiful gorgeous uh, cut out timeless uh, and i mean real timeless pieces these these are absolutely fabulous you can mix and match them with your sentiments possibly maybe even your sentiments that you've got today if you've got the all about you collection um, but you can snip into them you can color into them and you can put them and place them because they're a border edge so that's why we call them a timeless border, but they're from the edgeable uh, range. Um, so you can decorate at the side of your cards, at the top of your cards. And with these samples, I'm going to show you just a few ways that you can use them. So this is a lovely one um, in terms of how the papers are being used to create this 
uh, border effect, which I just think is gorgeous. This one's a lovely one. So I think about maybe possibly invitations that you might want to do. So a maybe lovely invitation and then have that inside. I mean, we've got happy birthday in there, but that could easily be a beautiful invitation for a wedding um, and use one of those designs onto there. So I'll just pop the little belly band back over the top. Um, again, on the edge, literally double this up, triple it up take it out, snip it out, add them on to create some flights. The butterfly ones I absolutely adore. I'm not going to lie, I love the butterflies. Um, but look, this is how you can play with them. So we're talking about on the edge, you literally can place them um, at the top, down the side, diagonal, into your fancy folds. This one's gorgeous. I love the sample that Marie's done to this one because this is just stunning where she's taken a colour in mediums and coloured each individual uh, floral. This one's running down the side. So again, it's showing you that. Uh, uh, how beautiful is that? It's a very simple card to achieve this. You simply take a piece of cardstock um, and have your fold in the centre of your card and then place your die down either side and cut that gorgeous um, design out. It's stunning. And then, of course, like I said, because you've got the ability to use these in many ways, you see, you can take them onto the fold of your card as well. So they could go and act as an edgeable. Or you could simply cut the border out and then attach it to your twisted easel. Uh, and then maybe... Look, extra little bit of decoration there, uh, using it as a, 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 a oh dear, I'm going to call it again because I keep calling it a flopper stopper, but it stops it stops it from flopping over. Um, and then you've got your lovely bow die on there as well. So you really can go to town with these. They're a beautiful set of dies that make um, crafting well again from anybody from a beginning level. So whether you're a beginner. Um, they can be used in a whole heap of ways. They're probably one, and I keep saying this, but I do mean it when it comes to our edibles. Um, they're m the most versatile dye. I think they're the most versatile dye that we do in our range because of all the multiple ways that you can use them. I said earlier on, back at the very beginning this morning, where you could have a box design, so you can make a box, and this could be the one that goes on the box lid around the edging of your boxes. Lots and lots of ways you can use them. So versatile and... Um, always popular when we bring an edible range the difference here is that they're all those beautiful timeless classic pieces and i absolutely adore them i'm going to do a card using two dies so i'm going to use the flourishing foliage and the rose garden is the one i'm going to use on this one and i'm going to create a little bit of a, a textured layered card i'm going to use a gatefold piece so i've got my, my card stock here i'll give you the measurements in a second but i'm going to use it to create two little backgrounds running down the side so popping that to one side just for the time being cardstock now multi-purpose cardstock is now readily available oh my days i still didn't put my order in and i worked with brent this morning <laughs> oh but dear i've got to have some i have got to have some have you have we got it in the have we got it in the a4 or the a a3 in the a3 the a3 it's here now joe Ooh. yeah i i was i was busy on my do you, do you know the funny story about what happened i've I, heard is I it don't, a true I story don't know if it's true. is this a so true story we were story? meant to launch it a few weeks ago in the a3 size and when it turned up by accident the supply had cut it in half to a4 <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> So it, I can actually believe it would have been a true story. Because we I'm always not... have it in A4, so they probably thought, oh, they've made a mistake, they want it in A4. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. Off. Can you believe that? No, it's definitely A3, and we definitely have it. Now, this has come from an A3 piece. Um, who's left that dime, OK? Oh, uh, was it you? No, it was Normally not. Normally I blame you, so... No, it was not. Blame Lavinia. them, probably. Give it a clean. Oh, shall we blame this Let's time? Let's blame Michelle. We haven't blamed Michelle for a while. No, you can't blame Michelle. You can't blame Michelle. No. No? no Debbie no. Fisher? Yeah. Debbie Fisher's quite tidy. Yeah. She's quite meticulous about doing it there and well, then. Well, since you tried to pinch a star off me this week, me, mister, <laughs> you were, uh -huh. you, you, well, well, your idea, weren't it? She <laughs> said that as a forfeit for not getting her star this week, we should take yours down. And I said, <laughs> we can't do that before Debbie Robinson. <laughs> She had, well, we, we've jimmied them up and gave her, Debbie, the, think, the star that she deserved. Put, I think it's been put up, though. Has it been put up, though? It now? has gone up. She is in the lead now by one star. I thought so, yeah. Mm. I thought she had, yeah, because uh, I, I, I missed the vote this week. I like to tune in and see the, the votes. I mean, this, do you know the thing is? I mean, we all do it tongue-in-cheek and we say it's a bit of a healthy competition, but 
Well, you know, everybody brings something different to the table. Absolutely, they do. Yeah, absolutely. So and the competition is fierce for those stars. You know, it's a bit of, there's a bit of, jovial <laughs> camar bit of jovial camaraderie, but honestly, it's, it's like the Hunger Games in here sometimes oh, on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a piece of A3 Costa. Mine is actually from my Centura Pearl, because that's the only one I've got at home at the okay, moment. Okay, no. um, So I'm going to have that on the inside. So I've, I'm going to make this a tent fold. So rather than it being a side opening, we just simply turn it around, it's a tent fold. And it's actually uh, 12 and a half inches uh, by, if I remember rightly, it's six, yeah. So it's 12 and a half inches in length by six, scored in half. Amazing. Um, and literally just use scoreboards, just find your half point and, and you're good to go. And just pop that on there. So I'm going to work on the inside part, which I know you might think is strange, but I'm going to work on that piece first. And I'm going to bring in that fancy foliage love that word now all of our dies when it comes to an edible works in the same way where we have oh dear I think I'm thinking of that you know I thought that were all clean but it's not and um, we all have at the either end is this die cut element where it starts this is the bit at the bottom here although it's got this lovely stitch design and um, it stays connected to the cardstock so the edible factor is all of this up here and it stops right at this end as well and um, so when you're bearing in mind when you cut it into it and I want the I want the fancy floor for, the, f the oh dear me foliage the foliage yes yeah. the foliage um, no foliage, yeah. foliage for me yeah thank you i've tried i'm not going to try anymore i'm just sticking to the word that i use that's it i'm not going to apologize uh, but i'm going to pop that on to the end of this inside tab and I, i'm making sure that the connected part is connected to this wider part here so let's hold it down with some low tack tape um, and again, I'm just going to place it. I'm going to use my me, uh, me glass mat as a little guide to get that into place as well. So, yeah, that, that's about right. Um, and then I'm going to run this through my... Oh, oh, nearly. Oh, nearly had a slippage. We don't want that. Let's pop that don't there. Don't want a slippage on the foliage. That could be dangerous, <laughs> couldn't it? I like that one, Joe. I think I asked for that one. Uh, right, let me find my large plates because I'm going to use and spread it out onto that large plate and that platform. Um, thin metal die, as always, um, it is onto your cutting plate. If you've often wondered when it comes to our Gemini's, um, all of us experts, I don't know if everybody does it, but I know the majority of us, we always cut down into our cutting plate. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's, it's entirely to you. The book would have it the other way around, but um, you'll find a way that works for you. So I'm putting the plastic shim on, the magnetic shim, and it's just acting as a shim. The you magnetic need to be shim will when, hold the die in place. You need to be here when Keith uses the Gemini, because what honestly, you've never, some of the sandwich combinations, plastic shim, frosty plastic shim on the outside, I saw the other day. Oh dear. One and an embossing folder and the metal shim, a embossing mat and a metal shim. Honestly, ah. you just sort of, scums. it's like you may as well put a cheese and ham sandwich through it, honestly. <laughs> just he makes it up as he goes. I have, yeah. give, I have given them it a... It always couple. cuts out perfectly, though. I know, well, this because the pressure of the machine. And if you think yeah. about these plates, they are different depths. So as long as you've got the right sandwich combination, yeah. the only worry there is that it might cut into something it doesn't want to. Yeah, exactly. So that's the only thing that I would be concerned. But, yeah, I have I tried. I don't I've tried know how he does time. it, but he's even still magic. Yeah, I I've, mean, tri I've uh, tried many a time. I've, I've stood and taught and you know, shared with him uh, me uh, Gemini he, knowledge, but uh, he still goes his own way. No, he was, he, he was in yesterday. He was on fine form, Debbie, as was he always Was I missed yeah. him yesterday. I did, I missed him yesterday. So who was he with yesterday? Was that Debbie and Lily then? Uh, he had a, uh, uh, yeah, Lily was here in the morning, uh, and then I was here with him for the rest of the day. Yeah, he was. Uh, oh, I might have to watch he, that. Yeah, was a lot back. of. Okay, stop now, Keith. You're going to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> there was a lot of that for the course <laughs> of the day. God love him. He's a good fun though, Keith. He's absolutely good fun when he's here. He's a good sport. He is. So let's just pick up the tape, and I'm just going to release this die now. What I'm going to my aim here to do is to have this as the edge on the inside, and then I'm going to drop this one um, onto this side as well, okay. uh, and have them matching. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to release this. So I'm going to take my scissors. So we're going to release one end, and then I'm going to go across the fold of that card. And then I'm just going to release it again at that end as well. So what that will have done now is given me this lovely edge of that uh, fancy foliage um, on this side of the card. So if I put this down now, I'm not going to... I mean, I could do it with the other side, but I wanted a different design, which is why I've, I've chosen this beautiful uh, floral one. Now, this one is going to sit, and I want it to sit 
so it's side by side so I'm going to bring it in a little bit more so that well, let me have a little peek so I can get this right because I'm going to just turn that yeah perfect if I just use that about two inches in yeah it should be right so I'm just going to use my glass mat again and take it in that couple of inches you can actually see where the cut uh, line is so I'm just going to have it literally sitting on that line there so again I'm going to hold it down with some low tack tape and then that should hold that down spread that open again so you can see now that they're lined up so it's literally going to wow. this design will layer over the other one that's that's the way I was going Very with nice. this one um, you could of course be a bit more precise than me and use a ruler and a pencil um, if you wanted to but again I'm saying by eye, but I, I mean, you've got the cut, you can see where the cut is, so it helps you a little bit. Although I'm just going to pop, because I know the power of the Gemini is amazing. I'm just going to pop down uh, the low tack tape. And again, I'm just going to put my platform on. Let me just pop that back. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch that show. I know Deb's had quite a few craft alongs over the last few days. Our Debbie, I think she's been doing craft along, craft along, craft along, bless her little heart. Yeah, art. she has. Coming up with all those couple. ideas. <laughs> Uh, we've got another launch tomorrow, though, haven't we, Debbie? Oh, Very exciting. Can't, honestly, what I can't have we got wait. tomorrow? We have got the Christmas 3D scene builders right. tomorrow, and they are beautiful. Oh, Joe, I, I, I instant. Just like that instant fall in love. Mm. The cute designs in there. Um, I just, honestly, they're absolutely stunning. I just can't wait to get started. But they're not uh, going live them. on the website until the morning. Is it tomorrow we're morning? We're worried about they're going to sell out, so you are going to have to be quick tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Are we having another? Uh, you'll be here, won't you, with Lily for Wake am, Up yeah. Call at 11am, 6am East Coast, and then Debbie and I are here for a two-hour launch day from 2 till 4 tomorrow, which is 9am to 11pm, 9am to 9am to 11pm. That'd be a long show, wouldn't it, on the East Coast? <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't put it past us. 14 hours is a long time, though. Uh, 9am to 11am on the East Coast, 6am to 8am on the West Coast. And then myself and Leanne here with a very special Leanne cartload as well. I uh, know. That'll be it's 6 going to be a jam UK. Day. Yeah, 1 o'clock on the East Coast, 10am West Coast. That's a three-hour special, that one. Wow. Three-hour special. And I'm pretty sure she'll be working all the way through tomorrow and then coming to do a three-hour show. Wow. Uh, now you can see lined up side by side. You've got those lovely flowers, that lovely floral, side by side with that beautiful uh, uh, foliage. Just going to trim my top end, though, because I can see just need to straighten that a little bit. You could, you of course, trim your top use, end? Uh, just at the top. Just making sure that that fold is nice and neat. You could use your craft knife for this or your little tiny scissors, you know, your little snippy scissors. Yeah. Because there's a lot of delicate detail. I don't want to snip any of that off, but I want to get in neater with that, you know, where that edge is to the top. So that should be... Let me make sure I've got that right. There we go. There we go. That's better. I feel, I feel better now. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of um, colouring in. But I want to use these ink pads for this. So I'm going to bring in um, some of my favourites. I've got um, I've got green topaz, lemon tonic, I've got fuchsia, and Ooh. I've got... Oh, now then, I want to... I'm the green topaz. Parakeet. Oh, do you know what? I think I'll stick with them. I'm not okay. going to use the crushed velvet. I'll stick I mean, with that's a curveball there, the, the green topaz in there. I've not seen it in that, in that combo before. Oh, no, because normally green you expect me to use there. parakeet, wouldn't you? It would be but lemon tonic fuchsia parakeet, wouldn't it? Yeah. I've got some foliage in there, so I ah, want to keep that uh, nice. And, and I will go in straight away with, and I'm going to turn it. And on Centura Pearl, it looks absolutely beautiful when you do this. Um, so I'm going to just use my finger dauber, uh, and I'm just going to go over. And again, it's 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 lovely to do um, some inking techniques onto Centura yeah, Pearl. Yeah, you really do get that sort of pearlescent shine still yes. coming through, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's again, I mean, you can do a lot with Centura, but you can take your colour blend pencils. Um, you can take lots of, you, you can take your alcohol pens over the top as well to create a lovely sheen um, look too. Uh, but ink is always a firm favourite with myself. Um, and I'm just going to go over, and you can see that just highlights that foliage, but it gives it that lovely, you can see that lovely shine, that lovely pearlescent finish, which looks lovely. Now I'm going to come on this side. Now because this isn't Centura Pearl, it hasn't got that same uh, shine, but I want to get into all the details. Now, if you haven't got a um, finger door, because I do know the last time I was here, <laughs> we didn't have any. 
So I thought I'd come in with my, and do you know, if I've lost it, I'm going to kick myself, but I fetched myself a little alternative. Do you know me in this floaty dress? I keep knocking everything today. Remind me tomorrow, no floaty dress. Um, we need to put a bulldog clip in the back of it or something like that. So it something like that, around. yeah, to stop it, stop it from flashing. But I'm going to use a little... Now, we call them um, an cotton earbud, bud. cotton bud. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's the Q -tips same thing. q -tips, is that what it is think, in America? Yeah. yeah, in our stateside friends. But do you know when you want to get into all those little details, yeah. but you, you, you find it a little bit hard oh, wow. to go in, just take your little cotton bud and go into the finer details. So the foliage part, I'm just going to go in with a bit of green and I'm going to continue that um, on these parts as well. So if I go in, of course, you could pop, make it a bit easy for yourself, pop a little bit down onto your, to your mat, pick that up, and then just give it a little, a little light touch, a little light tickle. That's the word again, we'll use the light tickle. Wonderful. Uh, Mary Pat says, we've got sunshine. I'm quite spoiled here with the sunshine. Uh, well, it disappears, it's unusual. I'm glad you've got sunshine. Um, Christine says, beautiful card as usual. Hello, my sweet Joe. You bring joy to my heart. Aww. Yay, I look forward to seeing my sunshine Joe. Isn't Aww. that nice of you, Christine? Oh, that's so lovely. Isn't that lovely? Uh, Shannon says, these remind me of the centerpiece dies, which I totally <laughs> love. And Eileen says, beautiful card as well. Lots and lots of love still coming in for all things Santangle as well. You're a, you're a tangling addict yourself, aren't you? Oh, Debbie? my God, yeah. Absolutely. I've been, watch I've been sat watching Leslie and Sandra in between, do you know me, break breaks, honestly. Oh, she was tangling, so tangling do you between know they shows. They literally tangle all the time. Every time I see them, if they're not busy doing anything with work, they're sat tangling. Yeah, yeah. I, honestly, they're amazing, the pair of them. Um, but yeah, Sandra's just one of probably the most creative people I know. So lovely. She's just a lovely lady. And I'm so pleased that um, people are loving what she brings to the table as well. I think it's really nice. Uh, I'm just going to go in now with... And again, I could continue to use my little um, cotton bud. But I'm going to find my finger dober for this one because I can get in a little bit more into the nooks and crannies. Let me find the fuchsia one and uh, the lemon tonic one. There we go. Um, and I'm going to go to just go a little bit of um, extra detail with the fuchsia. We're we'll going to the centre of our flowers. Really lovely, that fuchsia colour. We do have a water-reactive 10-piece collection on the show today. It was on the launch day show a little earlier, so you'll have to go back to that or hit the Shop the Day button and you'll be able to go and find it in there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to mix up these because the one that I've done is... I've, do you know um, what, Debbie? I love this colour combo. Do you like it? Mm. Well, I'm mixing it up a little bit because the one that I've done, what well, I'm going to show you in a minute because I've got all my, my panels lined up and ready to go, but um, I've tickled these with yellow. Um, so I've got it the lemon tonic finish. So instead of the green, I've put like a yellow, but you can actually go over because they blend beautifully together. So you can have a little blend of colours between the two. Um, just wanted to lift it a little bit. And, try, and just again, just to show you what you can be doing with yours. I'll go ahead and pop that down. There you go. But you can see just how lovely that's looking. And then when it lines up, I'll we'll just move that to one side for a second. Let's put that there. Um, you can see it just complements the oh, greenish there, that lovely foliage, foliage uh, the foliage bit. Now, I'm just going to give this a quick tinkle uh, and wipe up that spare ink and bring in the ones that I've done because I've already cut my pa panels to size. So that's all you're going to do is you're going to work out your panel size. Once you've done this with your cardstock, I'll just clean that over for a minute. Um, when I say work out your panels, um, take a ruler or a measurement and just work out and, and perhaps go down that quarter of an inch okay. in and, and an increment, which is what I've done with this one, which is why I'm going to use the one that I did earlier because I've already pre-done this. Let me just bring in the rest. Um, and I've actually cut panels down. Uh, can you see this one here? Let me just lift those underneath because I've actually cut out some extra pieces as well that's going to layer up. But I use the lemon tonic on the inside part and the topaz that matches the topaz foliage part to it as well but yeah i've already pre um, done these bits just bear with me joe because my mat's a little bit on the wet side let's get rid of that so there we go pop that down and then i'm going to literally do you know yeah i'm going to stick with it so i've used some textured cardstock with this to cut some alternate colors that matched the paper that i chose um 
I always, um, uh, this is my top tip, but whenever you're beginning with crafting, I, I think it's, I think you'll find a way, you'll, you'll adapt yourselves. But I choose my paper, so I choose my papers from my paper pattern paper to my cardstock, um, and then choose my colour theme around it. So I knew I wanted a green, and I knew I wanted a fuchsia in there. Um, depending on the tone, sometimes a darker tone can offset it a little bit. Um, and the reason I've chosen that um, green topaz with this one is that it gives it a real little bit of pop so again I'm going to add oh, it really does yeah it just gives it a little bit of that proper shadow feel to it so literally take the and again this one was it wasn't that very big the, the piece when I started was at three and a half inches um, just by that dropping down again of a quarter of an inch either side but just run it through your dies again the same with the pink one I went with a solid pink and that's again just to offset the pink that's in there and give it again that little drop shadow. So we're going to start with the back one first. I'm going to put my dotty tape pen again, just around, and I'll go over the. Oh, you are absolutely kidding me. Three in one day. Three, and these are the studio ones. Yep, I think I might another have to get one. Another one gone. Not yeah. another one. Honestly, another one. Another one. Honestly. Pack, yep, absolutely. Hmm. Hmm. Right, so popping that on and then I'm just going to now place this and I'm going to drop shadow. So I'm going to decide where I want that to be. So I think I'm going to have it a little bit to the Looks like a dress right. that Sunita would wear, doesn't it, this dye? It it's looks what it reminds like a what? Me of, you know. It's like a dress. Remember that dress that Sunita wore on <laughs> The X Factor? Remember, Debbie? Only you would remember that. <laughs> When she came out at Judge's house, yeah, at Simon's she had house, two, she palm, two in, palm leaves, palm leaves. Coming, I'm honest, yeah. Yeah, on my days. I well, my that. the old housemate I've been staying back with a little bit in Peterborough. She's got one of those plants. She's got a banana plant. And it's got two massive leaves, and I was saying. Maybe for Pride this weekend, I could fashion an outfit out of that. I said, any chance I could take a couple of cuttings? She wasn't willing to let me do it, unfortunately. 2009 wow. it was. That, um, I, uh, do you know, look. it is one of those moments that you don't forget. <laughs> but, yeah, absolutely. That's uh, Joe, if you're doing that this weekend, 13, no, I won't be doing that. 13 years ago that was. It feels like it could be yesterday, Debbie, doesn't it? Absolutely, it does. It does, yeah. I wish they'd bring X Factor back. I loved X Factor. Cheese, corny, I loved it, absolutely loved it. And obviously talent, because there's been some amazing people that have come from there. Did Leona you? Lewis, Charlotte, it's getting closer. Charlotte, it's getting closer. Leona Lewis. Me, me, Charlotte and Dark Craig are off to see Leona Lewis um, in December. I cannot to wait. To see who? Leona Lewis. Leona Lewis, Lewis who yes. came from the X Factor. Um, Who's going to be more excited, you or Leona Lewis? Oh, Leona, of course. She's yeah. meeting... Uh, she's meeting she's meet, Royal, meeting, uh, yeah, meet me. <laughs> You're not going to find out at a hotel beforehand, are you? The hot, the hot. Well, well, I, I, I might, I might, um, I might shock. No, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll be good. But we need to find a Charlotte. We need to find where she's staying. Not that we're going to stalk her. Charlotte not... went on a wild goose chase trying to find Johnny Depp in Newcastle, but she didn't. Honestly, she needed to take you with her, Debbie. She'd have definitely. I'd have found him. him. Ho ho ho! I would have found him. Let me tell you. Um, do you know what though? The funny thing was, Charlotte, he was in Sheffield. He was Sorry? in Sheffield was when I was at home and I had no idea until my friend sent me a picture and I wanted to kill him. I'm not gonna put it about why did you Did not your tell friend me? not Johnny Depp? Oh yeah, not You're Johnny You're like, Depp. he sent me a picture and I wanted to kill him. <laughs> well that's a no wonder. Good job you didn't chuck oh, him no. down. No, 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 no. Uh, never. Johnny Depp's just oh um, yeah, kill him with love, producer Johnny. Absolutely, I'd kill him with love. But no, um, no, my friend for sending me the picture. And then it went Charlotte all over the internet, didn't it, that he were there? Charlotte didn't really try and find him. She just had the mega pint of wine instead, didn't you, Charlotte? Well, do you know, my friend actually said it was my own fault because, um, because, because um, I didn't like the musician that um, he played with, mm -hmm. that he went on stage with. It, it, not that I'm going to name him because... Why don't you like Jeff Beck? I know he's legendary. I know he is, but he's not my cup of tea, producer Johnny. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't have gone. Jeff Beck could have walked up to me and slapped me with a wet fish. I wouldn't know who he is. Not a clue. <laughs> um, can I just tell you the same, Joe? Me neither, because yeah. it's not it's not my style of music. So I wouldn't know who he is. No. I mean, as he play, they say legendary, but I don't believe them because I don't know who he is. Mm. Who's he been? Who's why is he legendary? Who was he with? Was he with the group? Who? Me, what he? The Yardbirds. Never heard of them. Who are they? Hold on. Ecky Thumper, they. The Yardbirds. Have you ever heard of the Yardbirds? Never met me neither. 
Me, I've never heard of the Yardbirds. Obviously, producer Johnny knows exactly who they are. Wow. But yeah, I wish I'd have known that Johnny Depp would play at Sheffield. And it was the City Hall as well. It wasn't Is even Jeff a big Beck venue. British? Oh, Is I it? thought it was American. Yeah. Shows well, you what I know, Debbie. Honestly, I have no idea who these people are. I actually think Johnny's making it up, to be honest. <laughs> well, Johnny Depp was on stage with him. It went viral. And my friend sent me the picture because he actually went backstage and got to meet him. I'm like, oh, my days. Uh, and Sheffield, can I just tell you, is about a 20-minute trip into from where I live. Yeah, I Gutted. think uh, Sam McDonald went to one of the, the Manchester date, I think. Did she? Uh, she, found, she found Johnny Depp in Manchester. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I found Johnny Depp in Manchester. She had no clue, like us, who Jeff Beck was, but she wasn't interested. No, she don't, there's only one man that was interested in her that night. What was that noise? I don't know. That keeps <laughs> happening. One day the whole building's just going to fall down, I think. There's a banging noise. It's like a very big seagull. Uh, what, it was a yard bird, I think. Um, <laughs> no, I, it's, I think it's when it's been hot and then it cools down, Debbie, because the whole building is tin, isn't it? Yes. Uh, it, it expands and contracts, I think, and that's why we get those noises from time to time. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit disconcerting, though. Now, I've just put one of my sentiments um, in there, and I actually got... Because the paper that I've used is... Um, do you know from the uh, Pick and Mix? Yes. Do you remember the 8x8 pads? I love Pick and Mix. Love the pick and, well, I love Pick and Mix, but I love Pick and Mix papers as well. Uh, but, yeah, that's where that's from. Uh, and the sentiment is from the interchangeable regal frame. It's just the words that I've used. Nice. Just snipped it out. Uh, so that's just for you. And then I've got myself my little ribbon. You know I love a ribbon. Love a bow. I absolutely love a bow. Um, and I'm just going to put my bow... Just get that right first. Let me just make sure I've got my ears right. There we go. And pop that on to the top. And again, these timeless border pieces really are timeless pieces because uh, both of those work really beautifully together. But again, it's not something that, you know, that's, that's a hard thing to make. It really isn't. Um, but again, you can create added texture by mixing your frames up your border your border frames up and using them on the edge of a card and if i just turn that there it creates a bit of extra depth do mm. a little bit of shadow shadow dropping dropping shadow shadow dropping shadow drop do the shadow drop and it makes it pop that even more uh, and then just add your sentiments that could have been one of our sentiments that we've had on today as well could be could um, be. yeah you could absolutely do that too i'm just going to tuck my bow amazing in there but yeah absolutely beautiful and you get six in here which you is do, awesome yeah. so let me take you back through the designs and you've got the rose garden you've also got the flourishing of foliage the butterflies now you've also got the ditzy daisy the dancing dragonflies and the wildflowers as well. £33 or $41 uh, is your price. Now, we must go back and look at the, the hero tool. I don't know why it always seems, looks funny when you see it from that side, doesn't it? <laughs> Does it not? Or is it just me? Because you always used to seeing it from above. Okay, just make. Well, we are uh, because we use it. Yeah, it can be yeah. fascinating if you've never seen it before. I mean, I think I was, my mind was blown. I thought it looked like a. I don't know what, it looks like a stapler <laughs> from that side, doesn't it? Yeah. Or some sort of whale. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it is your hero tool and it's brilliant because it's got that super sharp blade on there. Uh, you've got a finger guard, you've got your scoring tool. I realise you can't see any of this because I'm not holding it up. You've also got your scoring tool on there. You can score on here. You've got inches, you've got centimetres as well. If you have struggled to get precise mats and layers, I think our guillotine will absolutely allow you to nail the mats and layers. That is what our Craig always says. Uh, you've got a 20% saving on this, £20 or $27. Uh, is your price there uh, on that one and it self sharpens as well which is excellent try colors now i love these because what you've got is a brilliant selection of colors so each one of these packs you're going to get three packs by the way included it's buy two get one free um each pen has three colors you've got nine colors in each pack now um, the way that Leanne and the team have designed this is they've curated each this uh, collection. So each pen has three different colours in it. So let's take the floral meadow, for instance, the bright floral. That's got rose pink, jasmine and tulip. Now, all three of those colours will blend into each other seamlessly. That means they're not going to muddy in any way whatsoever. And then the other pens, of course, are all exactly the same, but they're all complementary colours as well. So if you only had one pack of pens and you wanted to create a project, you can do that and they'll all complement each other beautifully. You get the Floral Meadow, Essential Neutrals 
and also the Colour Basics as well. 1998 or 2990 if you want to get your hands on those. Great deal for you. Saving, which is saving 25%. I think you're saving a third there. Uh, let's also um, move on. A lot of love coming in for that last card. Mary Pat says, cheery card, Debbie. Mary Rhino says, such a lovely card. Love the colours you've used. And Sam McDonald says, sunny card. And she says, yes, I found Johnny Depp in Manchester. Where in Manchester did you find him, Sam? I'd love to know. Was he just like on the tram or, I don't know, was he like getting a coffee? Oh. Can you imagine? Oh. I can't imagine, no. I don't think I'd be that blown away of all the people. Are you kidding me? No. Really? Really? Doesn't... Dan from Bastille, on the other hand. Oh. That's who I bumped into on... Uh, I was in Edinburgh on a night out and I bumped into the Is lead that singer. I bumped into the lead singer of my favourite band, uh, which was amazing. No, it wasn't. Not me, new fella, Debbie. When you posted that picture, I thought that was new. Which one? Which picture? Was that where you sat on some steps with him? No, that's Larry Dean, who's a comedian. This is oh. another completely <laughs> different person. Uh, <laughs> did you not recognise him? He's a very, very famous comedian. No. You did. No, and I, it, you very, saw it, Charlotte. Very you, good Charlotte, you, young man. Charlotte, you direct messaged me and said, "Who is this man? Is, is he single?" Is what you're. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, should we do this catch up? Uh, should we do this catch up after the show? Let's do this. Yeah, carry on yeah, with this. definitely. Uh, butterflies. That is the first one. Just I couldn't ask Dan from Bastille for a picture. I was trying to play it too cool, and he's my absolute favourite, favourite, favourite. Uh, dragonflies here, hearts and stars. It was a bit, bit, a bit like when you see the fizz, Debbie. The ban, not champagne, obviously. Although I'm sure you get equally excited for both. Uh, Seventeen pounds <laughs> if you want to get your hands. <laughs> On these are twenty-five dollars. Uh, Forty-two ninety-four, fifty-eight seventy uh, is what you are saving here on these, which I think is absolutely awesome. Right, we've got a lot to squeeze in in twenty minutes. We've got a demo. No. Oh. Demo of the show, oh. demo of the day to get oh. done, Debbie. Do you think well, we can do it? I think we, I think we will. I think we'll I have think to squeeze we it all in, yeah. won't we? I'm just having a little play because I'm using the love hearts. So I'm getting mine ready while you've been talking about the right um, man from what's it called? Uh, Mike, Mike Dan from Bastille. That's the one. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Well, I've heard of the group, but I thought it, I thought it was a person, not a band. Dan from Bastille. Bastille is a band, and Dan is a lead singer. Oh, see, I thought the Bastille. Oh, was Debbie, I'm a girl. So I'm just What's like, he got lost oh, in there? Oh God, this tea's getting. Sh Gosh, this tea's getting strong. <laughs> 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 Left the bag in. <laughs> oh, never leave the bag in, no. Oh, no. Absolutely not. No, I don't drink tea, so I don't have that problem, but no. No, I, I, I wouldn't either. No, too strong. Oh, too it's strong. very strong. Right, so I'm going to place these. I'm just going to, I'm randomly placing them. This is what I love about this collection. It does mean you can have a little play around with it. And I'm going in with a little love art card, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just randomly popping them on there. Um, and I'm using some of our luxury red glitter card. So it's from the luxury uh, pads. I've lost my tape. Um, Dan? Dan? Who's Dan? Dan from Bastille. <laughs> <laughs> One of you, many husbands, no doubt. <laughs> the crafty bigamist, Debbie Robinson. I know, but I haven't seen him for absolutely ages. It's, you know, it's, I haven't seen him for such a long time that I think it's forgotten Dave's going to be your new telly husband now. Who's my new telly husband? Dave. He is, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've had Derek. <laughs> That's how the rumours start, Debbie. I'll be maker. So have you have done a show with with Derek? Now, I'll be maker. Uh, but yes, um, uh, the Godfather of Craft, I will say, is my new TV husband. Down there, Dave the God, Bradford. The Godfather of Craft, is he? God, the God, God, Godfather. Godfather. The Godfather. Godfather. I said Godfather to him, and he thought I said Godfather. I said, well, <laughs> I said, no, the Godfather of Craft. And he was like, oh, bless you. But he is, he's been around for such a long time, hasn't he? Um, There's a chippy called the Godfather. I've seen it somewhere. Is yeah. there someone called the Godfather? There's a chippy called the Godfather, yeah. Is there? My chip shop near me, this shows you gentrification, Debbie. Yep. It's called the Hip Hop Chip Shop and it's a, it plays hip hop music and oh, has a DJ. Oh, amazing is in that? In a chip shop. The Codfather is in, uh, is in Blackpool. Well, I didn't know that. If you do um, go to Blackpool, though, uh, the best one, is it called... 
Yorkshire Fisheries or something like that. It's called in, something in where, Fisheries. Sorry? In Blackpool. In Blackpool? Yeah. No, it's called, it might be called like Skipton Fisheries really or something nice. like that. Oh, I don't know about it's near that the station. One. Near the station. Oh, I must have missed that. Mm. I must have missed that one. Uh, I'm just going to check that over. Yeah, that's fine. So even though I'm cutting into luxury glitter card stock, <clears throat> um, literally, oh, now nah, then, have I lost a... Oh, no! Love heart what have you slipped. Done? My heart slipped. Oh, no. Oh, well... Mm, Your heart skipped a beat. Uh, yeah, basic good job. Um, I have got the original one that I made. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I'll just show you what this one does for you, just by lifting these off. Now, there are lots of um, what I call the waste pieces that will not become waste pieces on this liftable because you will reuse these to create maybe, possibly, um, some uh, sprinkles for your inside of your um, shaker cards. So they could be awesome. sh shakers. It's, yeah, it's those bits that you put in your uh, shaker cards. So you could be using those. Ama um, amazing. So you wouldn't use this. Now, mine should have been up here, this love art, but well. Oh, is it falling off? It's falling down. It fell down. Oh, no. Yeah, my heart slipped. Um, doesn't my matter. My heart slipped, slipped to be. Is that JLS? No, it's Olly Murs. Oh, it's Olly Murs. Oh, I miss Olly Murs. Oh, he's gorgeous. Another one into me. And Jan went to see Olly Murs. Oh, the voice is coming back, apparently. Is what? He'll be back on the voice. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant he lost his voice. No, he hasn't lost his voice, Debbie. I don't think so. He was meant to be touring all summer this summer, and he'd done all the ligaments in it. He's done something to his leg. Oh. He's had an operation on his knee, yeah. Was he playing football by any chance? Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because he loves football, doesn't he? He's mad on football. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ali Moses is fabulous. Very much an entertainer. He's he puts very, on a right good, good show. Yeah. I went with Jan and the daughter, and oh, my God. Um, absolutely fabulous he was. Well, we played Darlow last year, apparently. Did he? Mm. Could hear him from Johnny's house. Wow! Well, can you hear the arena from your house, and Johnny? You've oh. got an arena in Darlington. Uh, well, you can hear it quite clearly. Excuse me, have you what? 25,000 seat stadium. Darling I thought Darlington were a little village. <laughs> have you ever been into Darlington? Never been in, no. You've I never... Hang on, Debbie, how long have you... De uh, how long have you worked here, Debbie? So, I've worked... How long have you just... been coming up to HQ for? I've been... Up in the TV part is about yeah. coming up to four years nearly. You must have been coming up so nearly four years, and you've never been into Darlington. Never been. Well, I think we, we I think we did a photo shoot near Darlington, but tell I you what, why don't me, you, Johnny, and Sam McDonald all go out in Darlington? Oh, oh you can have a riot in yeah, Darlington tonight. I thought you did a little village, Johnny. Apologies, I didn't realise you could. Oh, you should stadium. see the size of the clock. Honestly, it's massive, huge clock tower. My, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. Absolutely super shocked. Um, look at this though, what I'm not shocked with is this beautiful love heart. Look at those liftables. Absolutely beautiful. You give those a little um, tweak out, so just manipulate them with your fingers and you can create this lovely pop out love heart effect. Now, because obviously mine slipped, I'm not going to use that one, Joe. Um, I'm going to not use it because I've got one previously cut out. Um, and I've actually put some foam pads onto the back of this one because I want to give it a little bit of a lift. Of course, you could put some acetate at the back of this and create said shaker with said pieces. And when I said with said pieces, because um, I've cut out a couple now, let me just move that to one side. I've got all of these pieces that have been my waist parts of this, um, these two cuts that I've just done. So Amazing. again, absolutely, I just, I just love these. Now, Sam McDonald's up for it. She's up for that. Fabulous. Maybe we could go to the indoor market. Apparently, they're going to turn the indoor market into some sort of food hall, is what I heard. Like little, Ooh. little food stalls in there. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm. Um, because I'm doing a Love Heart themed card, I've used again, do you know from that lovely, this is now this one, oh, the paper pad, it was one of the, not the pick and mix, but it was the other one. Or oh, was it the pick and mix? No, it wasn't the pick was and mix. Was it the Everyday Occasions? That was called something, something like that. Everyday yeah, Celebrations. Like that. Yeah, yeah. And it's the 8x8 pad. Um, that is my very last piece of the Love Heart, so I don't know what I'm going to do if I need another Love Heart theme, because I'm out. I'm all out of that paper. Uh, so I'm just lifting off my pads because I want to lift. I want to still give it some lifting element with the love hearts. I'm not going to do this as a shaker card though. Um, I am going to keep it nice and straight forward um, as we're approaching. My goodness me, where has the time gone today? We've got a double vote to do as well. We've got a what? We've got a double vote to get in as oh, well. Oh dear! Right, top tip. 
when you've got foam pads they are fabulous but to stick them down onto your car your paper uh, could be quite instant and rather than me risk it for the biscuit i am going to pop on to um, some of our all-purpose glue to give me a bit of wiggle time with my foam pads i know it might sound bizarre because you're probably thinking well why are you attaching another bit of glue onto something that's already an adhesive but i want to make sure i get this nice and straight so with that in mind i'll start with the bottom work with me up to the top or you could do it the other way around whatever whatever you feel comfortable with um and just pop that on so again i want a little bit of time just to pop that there perfect i'm happy with that uh, and then i'm just going to push that down over the top and then again make sure my little love arts are sticking upwards because i want them lifted i want them they stay connected into the cardstock but i want to give it the lift factor that real true um and I'm, I do mean it, just that lovely lift, which I think, again, they're, they're just fab. Let's push that there. I'll tell you, you learn all Gorgeous, sorts of aren't they? And you TV. could, you were saying earlier, if you wanted to double cut them and overlay them oh, in a different colour, yeah, you could, could do that, Oh, yeah, I could use a contrasting... Oh, I nearly ripped my heart out then. Um, keep that there. Uh, you could use contrasting colour to go on top to really make it pop. But I want this nice and subtle. So I have got a P and this is cardstock is a seven by seven. I've got myself an extra little panel, same from the same um, glitter, encapsulated glitter cardstock, the luxury rare red, but it's the satin one. And that's gonna sit, and I've just made it a fraction bigger to sit onto the top to give a little bit of a matte and layer frame. And it just sets it off a little bit. Um, I've just seen though, just down there, there's a little bit of an overhang of the love art. So let's just trim that off. There we go. And then stick that onto the back. So I'm going to use, I'll use a bit of all purpose. In fact, what I am going to do before I stick that onto there is I'm going to stick this down onto my panel. Yeah, I'm going to have it that way. So I've made it purposely smaller because I want to have a little feature with those waist love hearts and just add a little, again, a little bit of extra um dimension when you're starting your card making journey and things like that you can add these little embellishments um again just really a lovely finish a really simple technique though to do um and of course you've got the dies at the most fantastic price honestly that is an amazing price i'm just going to stick that down all over there we go and then I'm going to pop on now some of these just down the side. I'm going to pop some of these down. Now, I had quite a few sentiments for this. Again, do you know what I could have done? I could have used the sentiments from the Say It With Style. Mm. Uh, but I'm going to go with big hugs for this one. Let's have a big hugs. Now then, I would like a little bit of a lift of colour. So I'm just going to grab hold of a red. Uh, there it is. That red? Yeah, we'll have that one. It's close enough. Um, and I'm just going to... Touch it up around the sides again. Tickle around the little <clears> edges. Um, um, that's just to give it a little bit of definition again. Mary Rhino is loving the heart paper. Eileen Hernandez says it is beautiful as well. It is. Gorgeous very, paper. Very cool. I'm just gutted I haven't got none left. Do we Do we have... Um, I bet Sandra's not left her finished makes, is she, from... Uh, I bet she hasn't. Just going to be a Debbie one, I think, Debbie, at this rate. Well, she's got that lovely, this from this morning, that beautiful she project. She has, this the, morning. the star, yeah. she's got one in, she's, yeah. She has, she's got one in. Um. <laughs> That's fine, that'll be all right, don't you worry about that. <laughs> now, I'm going to add a little bit of my favourite glue in the whole wide world. I'm going to add a little bit of chunky glue onto my love hearts. glue. Yeah, 3D Kalal glue. Um, I haven't got my syringe, so I'm just going to twist this. Um, and just pop little blobs of it. I'll use my uh, pokey tool just to scoop that off the top and stick around each one of my hearts. And then I'm just going to scatter them across this section here that I've left plain. Uh, and then we'll add my sentiment on. So literally, just take each one of these, various sizes as well. It adds a little bit um, added extra um, feature to it. So I'm going from big to medium, will be a smaller one. There we go. I'm just going to keep doing that on all of those. Of course, you could use things like your foam pads as well, but um, I fancied a little bit different. So I'll go in with another small one. Because each one of these lovely hearts from this uh, collection as well, they've all got like a different size. So each mm. central part will create a different one. So again, just adds that little bit of um, 
texture to your, to your finished project. And I'll just finish with a diddy witty little one just at the very top. However, um, I'm going to keep that one flat because it's tiny. I'm just going to pop it there with a little bit of tacky glue. Let me just, oh, stay there you. And then see if I can get that picked up and dropped on. A uh, bit of tissue, let me grab a bit of tissue. I love those cascading hearts, the waist though. I think it's really cool, Debbie. Yeah, it's just, a, it's only, I'm only playing with them, Joe. It's, you know, but it's, have I got a bigger one? Is that my biggest heart? Let's have a look, see what size that one is. Is that bigger? No, it's the same. So I'll, I'll cascade back down as well. So I'm going to go a little bit further down. And again, I'm just playing with these. This is just me using that waist, not literally having it as waist. Um, adding it to create some extra embellishments. Um, and we'll go that way. We'll have another smaller one. Let's give these a little push around. Let's see if we can get them all on. And then... Whoop. Little one there. In fact, I've just finished with a little diddy witty one again, just at the bottom. Um, again, it's just a bit of texture. Something, a little bit of added interest. That's all I'm going to call it on. So pop that one on. And then literally just finish that off now with um, my sentiment. So I'm going to go in with uh, um, the sentiment with a bit of the glue. And we'll place that. Let's have a look. We'll pop it just about there. But not let it affect the lifted heart and there we go and apart from adding some ribbon and some gems i think sometimes it's nice to steer away from them but again just using your liftable dyes to create um and add, add a little bit of texture a little bit of lift to it as well uh, but a little bit of dimension beautiful absolutely gorgeous right Shall we get that uh, card of the show Ooh, all right, underway yes. then what have you got debbie uh, you've got so your got th uh, tp three. yeah oh. three so Started off, gosh, this feels like a while ago. Started off with the liftable TP with the butterflies. So that was number one. That oh, no. Uh, number two, we just did with the um, edibles. So that's number two. And then number three, the love heart liftables. Beautiful. So one, two, three, three. Two, four, one. You decide. We're going to have a super, super quick vote on that one, and then we'll get the card of the day underway. Uh, I just want to quickly recap for you the uh, liftables that you've got here. So um, uh, these are your butterflies, your beautiful butterflies. You're going to get all four of these included. It's an unbelievable price here. You're paying £17.25. You've got the dragonflies. Did you know these signify new beginnings, Debbie, dragonflies? You want to? Just sag signify new no, beginnings. No, I didn't know did that. Did you so not know that? No, no I didn't know Charlotte, that. Charlotte, no. did you know that? She didn't either. Thank God. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Happy hearts, uh, these ones here. And we've got shining stars as well. <laughs> 4294 of 58.70 is what you save there on those. Who knows what's gonna who knows what's gonna happen? Crafters TV, we love to keep you guessing, don't we? Uh, right. Do we count Sandra's? Sandra's taking them home, I'm afraid. And um, you know, that's showbiz, isn't it? She's not gonna be able to uh, card of the show, number three, Debbie. Hey, the love heart. Do you know, I was just, just getting them all lined up. Uh, there you go then, so I'll let you have that. Be careful, it's still wet. Oh dear. So just hold it there. Be careful when you're popping it out, because it's still oh. wet. It's <laughs> always a little wind up merchant sometimes. <laughs> he is a little wind up. I love him to bits, but uh, yes, little varmints. What do you like? Right, you ready? Card, card up, dear, as they say in Yorkshire. Uh, this one here, card number one. Ooh, that was Sandra's. Uh, number two was Debbie's scrapbook page. Forgot about that one. Or is it going to be number three, uh, Debbie's card? One, two, or three? You decide. Get your votes in uh, right away. I want to share with you this uh, a die cutting starter kit that you've got. Oh, my voice went quite so high there, but it did. We, we move, as the kids say. <laughs> uh, this one here, you're going to get a die included. This is your chasing dragonfly. Did you know, Debbie? that dragonflies signify new beginnings. Do they really? Did you? Did you I didn't know that, that Joe, no. no. <laughs> Charlotte knew, I think. Uh, this one here as well then is your chasing dragonfly. Did do you not? Uh, <laughs> uh, that is your board. It's chasing dragonflies. They're in there, look. See them? You can pick them out uh, in the foliage in there. 
With this one here, you're going to get some snow white cardstock, and you're also going to get uh, the cherry cardstock as well in the centre of pearl. You've got your pokey tools, and you've got your red liner tape in there as well. What an awesome selection of die cutting uh, accoutrement that you could need there for you. Uh, let's move on to stamping and colouring. Uh, this again, another great selection because in here you're going to get watercolour cards. So this is if you want to do watercolour. So aqua markers, tricolour aqua pens that you've seen on the show, uh, our aqua blend pencils, all perfect for this. Uh, you've got your stamps in here. Uh, then you've also got the waterproof uh, ink pad in the pebble. And you've got your stamping platform as well. £20 or $30 here, saving you £14 or $15, which is a great great price i sense that card of the show is card of the days it's on the cusp i can feel it. it's on the cusp we're going to move i'm going to remind you of these are your tricolor markers buy two and you get one free i said you buy two you get one free uh, which is amazing because you're going to get 27 colors in total and these are the colors thou shalt receive you'll get the floral meadow you will get the essential neutrals and you'll get the color basics Debbie, what? you're a winner. No. Do you think, though, it is two or three? Oh, I've no idea. Two or three? Oh, it's number two. Oh. Yay. You are right? You're happy? Yeah, fine, thank you. Yes, fine, thank you. Oh, you wanted to take it home, didn't you? Yes, oh, yes, I did. what a shame. Anyway. It's my scrapbook. It's my scrapbook. Are you here um, on Sunday, Debbie? No, I don't think I don't think I'm here on Sunday. If so. it wins on Sunday, you can't have it ever. You never well, you can't have it ever. Can't have it ever. I'm not recreating that. Well, you'll have to. No way, Jose. I'm having it back. Well, you can't if it wins on Sunday. It's that's it. It's book. I don't make the rules. Look, I, I'm, you I'm have to wait really till the end I'm of not the month. here on. I don't think I'm here on Sunday, but I'll be I'll be messaging you is just to say make sure you. Keep it right. somewhere safe, And if it wins, it will go card of the month. And it could be card of the year. Maybe you'll never ever see it again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, uh, you are back, aren't you, with uh, Lily indeed. in the morning? Yes, I'm back tomorrow morning. I will be here for Wake Up Call with that brand new launch. And we're going to give you a sneaky peek into, don't tell her, Leanne's cartload. She's going to be um, fuming. I'm delving into her bags. I am going to have a little look and see and show you the amazing You things. won't be able to look in the mystery bags, though, will you? Oh, I am. <laughs> but I'm going in. I did say I, I'm, I did say I'm well, going in. Well, she'll be ringing Leanne. Um, but yeah, we can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to working with the lovely Lily as well. So Hello, Leanne. It'll be a really good day. Uh, what was that, Joe? Uh, no, I'm, I'm on the phone to Leanne right now. Get Leanne <laughs> on the phone to me immediately. Uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, me and Debbie back together then, aren't we? 2 p.m. in the UK. We are indeed, uh, yes. And then Leanne for three hours, 6 p.m. here in the UK. Uh, if you are across the pond, enjoy the rest of your day. If you're here in the UK or Europe, uh, enjoy what is rest of the left of the rest of your evening. Big thanks to Debbie, to Jake, to Johnny, to Charlotte, uh, and, of course, to each and every one of you guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.